Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we're getting it all in Violet Remastered. This was developed and published by Forever Entertainment, and is usually available for £8.39 slash $9.99, but this week is just an incredible 83 pence, or just $1. Of course, always look out for future sales, hopefully in the bracket of $1 in the future. So we play as Violet Remastered, that's not her second name who, after, get, after getting dragged away and moving to a remote location, bored as hell, ends up miniature, uh, somehow, and has an adventure of a lifetime. There's puzzles, fighting, solving stuff, collecting, an insane amount of orbs, and it's all part of the fun. Now, as for achievements, nothing is necessarily hard, as if you've missed something at the end of the game, like I did, in fact, I missed a couple of achievements, as you'll see, you can just backtrack to a location and do what you need. But the main big boy is collecting the orbs. Now there are between 6 to 13 in each level and there are 20 levels with orbs in out of 21. So my advice is when I say how many orbs is in a level, you count as you collect in to ensure you're on the same path, savvy? Otherwise it's a few story related, few easy miscellaneous ones and the rest are tied to collectibles and you, may, you must make sure to never use a hint. In fact you can make that easier by going to the options menu and disabling the hint option. Okay, well that was long wasn't it? Now you're looking at around two to three hours to get this done, so with that being said then, let's begin. And as you can see, I immediately cut out the first cutscene. There's not that many cutscenes, a lot of this is just gameplay. So uh, yeah, let's do this thing, right. So, Violet's all trapped, so what you're going to need to do is hit the uh, both sides of the cage. So you need to get a bit of momentum here, swinging with the cage, so as soon as you've got enough momentum, eventually this uh, little cut, uh, this little scene's going to happen there. And, well, that's going to happen. So, job done. So, it's going to tell you, this is obviously just a tutorial part of the level, but there are a bunch of orbs immediately. So, immediately press the button just underneath, and you're going to find our first orb. There it is. So, again, I'm trying. To, I'm going to try and go slow, fast slash slow. Hopefully, you can keep up with the video. So, in the top right corner, that is where your inventory bag is. Now, you can just press the Y button, and that will open up the inventory bag. And it'll tell you how many orbs you've got and how many things that you've collected in each level, etc., um, and that's just about it. So the next orb is going to be just to the right of where Violet's cage is, right there. And the third one is in the light bulb. So that should be three. And the next one, if we have a look underneath, just to the right of the cup of tea, open up the hatch and that's another orb. So that'll be the fourth orb of the level. The fifth one is right on the tea handle. Some of these orbs are very easy to miss. So that's where the number fifth one is. And have a look at this diary page. Um, just underneath that. Again, we'll be collecting these diary pages through each level as well. So grab that one. And there is an orb just underneath where that diary page was for number six as well. So that's all six orbs completed out of the level. Now we can interact with the button underneath. And that's going to obviously uh, get some stuff blowing, going. Grab the paper clip here from the right hand side. Now what you can do, you've obviously got to move the cursor and everything with the right stick, which can be a bit weird. So what you're supposed to do is drag the clip, so press the A button, drag it with the right cursor, and drag it down to the very sort of uh, bottom of the screen, uh, where the gap is in the electricals. Um, but if for whatever reason it didn't work, it didn't seem to work for me, all you need to do is just press the A button on the clip a couple of times, and it'll start going nuts until we get to the very bottom one. See, what a start, nice and easy. <laughs> So once the paper clip gets there, we can now press the button which is just directly underneath Violet to cause a fire, cause some mayhem. I wouldn't trust whatever's in that brew. That looks very acidic. Still, it's a cup of tea, so, uh, you know, as the British always do, we'll drink anything with a cup of tea because uh, that's all we do, apparently. Drink tea and have bad teeth, as it were. So anyway, here we are then in the second level. Uh, this is level 2 already, and we're going to get one missable achievement and a whole bunch of orbs, of course. So, uh, what I'll do at the end of each level, I'll just make sure that we're on the same path. So, you should have 2-2-2. Two, 2-2-2-2! Two, two. Two, 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 two. Tear, 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 tear! Right, first of all then, we're going to interact with... The bottom left-hand side here. So, if we head to the bottom left-hand side and interact with this little flowery type thing, or this whistle pop, this is what we're after first. So that's the first one out of three whistle pops that we need. 
interact with the flower just to the left of it to grab yet another orb. And then we can uh, just head to the right and interact with the orb just in the background there on the sort of, I don't know, that's the, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Next up then, what we're going to do is have a look at the right hand corner just underneath the inventory bag. Open up the hatch and oh, it's another orb. Oh yes, it's going to be one of those, yes. So have a look just to the left there on the floor of the colander thing. That's another orb. Next up, if we have a look just to the left of the teapot there on the ground, that's going to be yet another orb. Have a look at the hatch just in front of the evil haunted teapot. That is creepy, man. That is like one of those... No, did your parents ever used to have one of those like china dolls that was just stuck in the corner of the room and their eyes used to follow you all the time? Yes. It's exactly what this looks like. And he, yeah, creepy ass. Anyway, that's the first diary page, the only diary page out of this level. Have a look at the orb directly in front of it. And there is another orb uh, just to the left on the flower and then just to the, sort of in the middle between the teapot's haunted head and his big stout spout, there's the other orb. Job done. Right, top right hand corner is the next orb just by the pot of Honey, Winnie the Pooh style. Now, now we're going to get the um, first achievement of the game. Now what you need to do is hit the spoon and then quickly go over to the right and hit the colander thing here. Uh, that's a little bit of a time section, so if you do miss it, just try it again. And then you can go ahead and grab the cork. So yeah, you've got to be quick. You've got to hit the spoon and then immediately hit the uh, colander thing on the right. And that's how you get that. So hit the fly here from the left. You may have to hit him two, maybe three times. Um, now, as Violet, like I said, you can obviously move with the left stick. You can move Violet with the left stick as well, by the way, just because you haven't figured that out. Um, hit the honey pot. And then what, what that's going to do is... El Senor Flybags is going to, as soon as we hit him, he should uh, come down and start drinking El Hano. Get in there before Winnie the <laughs> Winnie the Dump Bags, Winnie the Diarrhea Poo. Uh, but as Violet there, you may just have to move to the left so the flight can get a little privacy. Ew, I'm sorry, Senor Posh Bags. Jesus. Anyway, eventually he's going to eat, chew, chow down. It may take a little while for him to eat, chew and chow down. But as soon as he's done that, we can go into our inventory, click, go over to the um, uh, cork and just drag that down. Again, you can press the A button and drag it down there with the left stick or right stick. I don't think it matters. Um, and then just pop it in. And that is how you get your first achievement. Now, for whatever particular reason, it didn't unlock on screen for me. Um, but it should unlock for you. So, now oh, there we go. So once you've released the fly, <laughs> I have destroyed the fly. Then, uh, now I'm thinking, where the hell actually is it? Um, otherwise, we're pretty much just golden, golden nuggets to go right now. But again, that should be your first achievement. And that is it for us. So we've got the one diary page, we've got the nine orbs. And now we are on to level Shrio. So then, welcome to the Labyrinth. Now, this is kind of the main hub sort of area for now, while we just get through the first... Uh, Another sort of five, six levels, but we're not going to be here forever, so don't panic. So the first item that we need is directly in front of us, just by the left-hand side door. Or the first door we're going through, and that is a story-related thing. The first orb is to the left of the lamppost, right in the forefront of the screen. So hit that one. The second orb is just to the right, just over to the right of the stairs there, right in the middle of the screen. That's where number two is. Number three is going to be in the top right-hand corner. Just to the left of the rightmost door there, that is orb number three. Orb number four is directly down below, just hidden away well in the stairway. Number five is hidden in the alcove there, in the right-hand side. Number six is, there should be a little hatch just above at the top of the screen, that's number six. Number seven is going to be, well, we'll get to number seven now, we're just going to go through the topmost doorway first. So yeah, that's what we do, we get the orbs out of the way on every level first, and then crack on with the main story later on. So that's what we're doing. Right, two sets of stairs. We're going to go down the left-hand side one, so let us pop our clogs out of that. Pop our clogs. Don't, don't literally pop your clogs, of course. And this is all very confusing, isn't it? So the next orb, then, is going to be on the left-hand side of us. And there it is, just behind this big, weird, hidden doorway, or whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Go through the right-hand side door here. There we go. So again, like I said, we're not going to be in this labyrinth forever, only until we uh, complete the, the next uh, couple of other levels. Huh? Here's the next diary page then, R directly in the forefront of the screen. Her Spiderness, who is basically the boss of the game. The angry one, who wants to make you... 
Um, kind of her little bitch, basically, but trophy, she calls it. Uh, right, there is an orb directly underneath that piece of paper as well. For some reason, it disappeared on screen, but there is an orb right under there. Right underneath that diary page, so make sure to grab that before we start heading back. Back, 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 bacon back. Head through the left-hand side door. We've only got uh, one more orb left to collect anyway in this area, and we'll start heading through some levels. So we're going to go down the right-hand side path now. So yes, this can get, like I said, awfully confusing, and it's the same with a few of these levels in the game as well. So the next orb then is directly where that look, kind of looks like a tombstone or something. That's where the next orb is, so make sure to pick that one up. And then if you have a look in your inventory, you should be on 888. You should have one whistle pop and one sort of ring band thing anyway. So head through this door then on the left hand side here to start the next level. So, welcome to the library! We've got funny games! It's all books though. Right, so all we need to do then is head up. Now as you're going to see then, if you try and get through the door, we're obviously not going to be able to get through the door. Because of course, uh, games are not that easy, are they? <laughs> no, they're not. So, what we're going to do, uh, you can speak to these main characters if you want. Just to see uh, what they need and what they want. Obviously, she, she wants her babies to come and eat and then we can get the key. So for now, we're going to grab two orbs, that, which are directly above us on the light here. So make sure to grab those two. So that'll be two out of twelve orbs already. So make sure you count along. The third's going to be on the dinner plate. So smash that down your nostril and choke it. The fourth one's going to be on top of the light, just to the right of the door there. Now, even though it had a different symbol on it, don't worry, you will still be able to collect it. You won't go anywhere. So the fifth one here is just underneath this pen lid. You may need to interact with it twice. In fact, you're going to need to interact with it twice. And that's going to get the next orb. Then we can, just before the door here, we can end, interact with this little uh, drawer. And there's going to be a suite just inside of what we need to grab. So, again, it may be a little bit finicky. Sometimes in this game it can be a little bit finicky. So what I would do then is just head a little bit forward. There we go. So we got there eventually. So we've gotten the suite. So once you do have the suite, now we can actually head through the door here. And head on up. To the end. Well, not the end. It would have been nicer if it was the end. So left-hand side here, there is another suite. So make sure we're going to be picking that one up. And now we need to do a little puzzle in order to get the bridge going. Because these kids are douchebags. And if you say that your kid is a sweetheart and there's nothing wrong with it, you're lying. Every kid's a douchebag, okay? I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Mine included. <laughs> Although we love them. So, anyway, interact with the star first here, just on the book pages. Then, at the top right of it, the three circles. Just underneath it then, which is the moon. Just to the right of that, which is the number two. And just to the right of that again, which is um, the whatever symbol that is. The crazy sort of off your nut symbol. And that opens up the bridge. And now we can go. Basically, what they're going to want then is some things. So we're going to have to go and grab some things for them. Like, because of course that's what happens in every game, isn't it? You, you're doing stuff for kids, man. Why don't you just say, let me in, douchebags? Anyway, they're going to play a little game of hide and seek. All you've got to do is just click on them when they appear. And then you can uh, just throw them down. Get! Get the hell out of my way, kids! So that is not an orb. But to, to the top left-hand corner, just by the pause button there, that is an orb. So make sure to pick that one up. And if we interact with the obvious looking drawer right on this big pumpkin looking thing, there's the next orb. Oh, flying now, aren't we? Right, now we can head back down to see that the little kitty stinks. Oh, imagine. Man, three kids. Oh, gee. Man, my brain hurts with just two kids. So, if anyone has more than zero kids, I applaud you. I absolutely applaud you. So anyway, as you can see, nah, joking. Kids are awesome. No, they actually are. Kids are pretty cool. Just, you know, when they leave you stressed and bald and angry as uh, <laughs> Mike knows. Mike knows about the bald and angry. Anyway, we've got the key now. So this is what we should be on. 10, 10, and 11 orbs. One whistle pop, two sweets, and a key. So that's what we need to be grabbing. So grab the key from your inventory and use it to unlock the door, obviously. That is, uh, you ain't going to use a key for anything else. 
I mean, unless you're on a three-day night out, but that, that's for a completely different story. So, we're going to head up past the little book playground thing. It's a very cute playground. And we've got, like, this little new area that we have to do some things on. So, have a look at the ladder. We can't, obviously, reach it just yet. Uh, but there are a few things that we're going to grab, including another diary page here. So, interact with the drawer directly next to it. There we go. And then we can interact with the orb that's floating out of that. To the right of that is another orb in the flamey, candly flame candle. Interact with the book here. We're going to interact with it once. That's going to get one sweep down for us. And as you can see, it's starting to snow. So now the puzzle is we basically have to make a rainbow, a frozen lake rainbow thing. So interact with the page above us again. And then interact with it again. Then interact with it again. <laughs> We're getting there now. Now it's starting to rain. And that will do. So head to the left, interact with the left book now. And as you can see, the diary page is there. And when we interact with the page once more, it's going to start falling down. And again, just little things make it very annoying. So there we go. But we've got our frozen path anyway. So let's just head down for the minute. Let's just grab the diary page before we forget them. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, kids are back. Look. Oh, gee. Gee. And what are you doing, Bray? Just cooking meth there, are you? Is that, is that why your kids are so hyped up? You're just cooking meth all day? Well, nothing wrong with that. Whatever keeps him quiet. Is it? Oh, I shouldn't say that. No, I, I'll probably get cancelled for that. Um, no, but we are going to grab the diary page now, which is just by the ladder of the kids' playground. There we go. So there's the diary page. Bookworm, which makes all the sense. It's not a meth worm like all you guys were suggesting it was. <laughs> it wasn't me. Um, right, you can speak to the kids here. Basically, we need the blocks. What they're going to want is a couple of sweets in return. Luckily, we've just been the, the the equivalent of Tesco. Insert joke right here. That's all I'm going to say. But as it turns out, that is how easy it is to bribe kids. Just give them, uh, just give them some sweets, and they'll be just basically uh, slaves for you. So, uh, well, if anyone needs some free workers for a day, no, just joking. No, kids are our future. Right. So after they've uh, knobbed the blocks up for us, right there, we're going to go past Senor Methworm, and then we're just going to go straight through the gate, and we're basically going to be coming to the end of these levels. So these levels, there's plenty of them, but that luckily for us, they're not that big. Which is always nice. So, um, what we're going to do now is grab a couple more items here. So, now we can finally climb up the ladder, which obviously we weren't able to do before. I mean, to be fair, it's easier to just get kids to do your dirty work for you instead of you climbing blocks up yourself, isn't it? There's going to be a whistle pop right here, which we need just to the right of the book. Uh, you can probably just see it there by the flick of the flame or the flick of the candle. So, that would be number two out of three. There's an orb on the left-hand side of the screen just by all the piles of books. And to the top of the screen as well, there is the next orb. So make sure to grab that. And then what we can do is just start heading to the left right now. Interact with the topmost left upper book. Once. Twice. Three times a rainbow. And in fact, we are actually heading for the rainbow. Oh, man. If my normal singing voice isn't good, what makes you think I'm going to be any better with a sore throat? Uh, so just keep going there until we're going to get to the rainbow bit anyway. There it is. That's what we need. So that is how we end up doing this puzzle with the frozen path and the big rainbow. And this is the first out of three powers that we get. So there are a couple of powers that we get throughout the entirety of the game. Ones like telekinesis and some other ones and some other stuff as well. And basically, collecting all three of those, so we need three of those what we've just grabbed, and then if we grab all the orbs, that gives us a better chance to beat the boss at the very end of the game. So if you don't collect many orbs, obviously you won't get the achievement, 
you won't beat the boss. Uh, so, so it's, uh, yeah. So it's all tied in quite lovely, actually, to that one. Uh, but we are now pretty much just done with um, library number four. Level number four, even. So now we can just head down and head out through to exit. Back into the crazy world of the labyrinth. Again, obviously, make sure that they, they've got the same amount of orbs that I have. Um, and that you counted along. We should be on 12 orbs, one diary page, one whistle pop, and one amulet. So now we can just head through the exit, which is just to the uh, just to the right there of the book. And back into the labyrinth. Now we're going to get into level 5, which is the bathroom. So head through the door just to our right. Next, head down the left set of stairs. That's all this game is, is just go, go, Power Rangers. But uh, I really enjoyed Power Rangers a lot more, in all fairness. Uh, so, obviously, head through the right-hand side door now. I mean, you can't beat this game for literally a dollar, 83 pence, can you? It's not, it's not all bad. And then, we're going to go through the right door here. And we're going to head into the bathroom. So, watch out for Winnie the Diarrhea Dump Bags. Right, so, first things first, what we're going to do is head over to the right-hand side here. See a dripping tap and a bit of rust and stuff. We're going to grab the diary page directly in front of us here on the ladder. So, that's going to be number one. So, in this level here, we've got one diary page, nine orbs, one whistle pop, and another amulet piece. So, uh, Justin Bieber, or Jawson Bieber, or whatever the hell it is. So, we interact here with the little window, and it's going to see our parents... It's okay, I'm right here. I'm just mini. I, just, I don't know, what, I could probably fit up your nose. That would be good. Anyway, when we've got that one, we're now going to go ahead and interact with the tap for the first orb on the right-hand side. The second one's obviously in the water. Number three, um, as we start heading just back to the left a little bit here. The third orb is going to be on the left-hand side in what looks like a plate. The uh, fourth one, we're going to start heading down into this little bridge area type thing. And the fourth one, oh, yeah, well, it is actually just where Violet's gone there to open up a little hatch or something, a little hidey place, that's the next one. Fifth one's just at the top right corner of where Violet's standing by the mirror. Number, the next one is we go over, it's in the toothbrush holder, very easily hidden. So that's the next orb in the toothbrush holder. The next orb is going to be in a hatch just above where Violet is, just to the left of the ladder. And then if we just head to the left ever so slightly once again and start heading down to the bridge, we are going to get another orb just underneath the sponge right there, just in the water. The next one is in the window at the top right corner. That is the next orb and that should be pretty much, I think, all orbs done. So let's crack on with the puzzles now, shall we? So if we head to the right here, that is the piece that we need on the bottom right hand corner. Uh, but what we're going to do then is interact with the toothbrush which is just above us right now. You are going to need to interact with it twice. And eventually it's going to fall down and incredibly break. That is the worst toothbrush I've ever, ever seen. Imagine brushing your teeth and then you actually accidentally just stab the upper part of your mouth. <laughs> the dentist is going to have a field day with you. So what we need to do is grab that shank, which is exactly what they do in prison, I, I assume. Other than obviously don't drop the soap and everything that you read on TV. Uh, you're going to need to interact with it twice. I don't know why they tell you to not drop the soap. I, I just... Where else am I supposed to put it, huh? <laughs> oh, you can tell I've never been to prison. So, I'm interacting with the <laughs> tap twice there with the shank. That'll get the water going. And that'll get us the one particular item that we need. It looks like a... Uh, you know, one of those things that you use a thing with. Very insightful today, aren't I? Uh, but <laughs> if we have a look to the right-hand side here again... And if we interact with the whistle pop there, that is not a toothbrush, that is a whistle pop in the toothbrush. That will get you the next achievement, Melody Pops. So make sure again, obviously, to grab that before we head out. Right, interact with the music-y thing, but you're going to need the little do-do-do-do thing, the little snake handling, you know, one of those. You need to interact that with the paper towel snake type thing, or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Obviously, it's supposed to resemble a snake. I know that. 
Uh, but anyway, do that, and that is eventually going to pop us out a delicious, delicious looking orb. Oh, in fact, no, it's going to actually... What it's actually going to do is hit the duck here at the top of the corner. That's going to drop him down. Now, what we need to do then, interact with the string. First string here that we need to do a couple of times again. Apologies about the edits, a bit quick. But you need to just, you have to be quick with this one, okay? So what we need to do, get the cat going. Wait until he's off screen at the top. Then interact with the second string and then do the same thing here. So just keep hitting this string until he is off screen. What's going to happen is they're both going to come back down with a piece of, um, with a piece of matchstick. So pull him down twice until he's about here. Now pull on the first string. Now wait until the dog hits this cat. And then he drops the matchstick in the water. Now quickly put him down again and that will get two matchsticks down. Quickly run over and grab one of the matchsticks. So that's how you do that puzzle. You basically need both matchsticks in the water. If not, as you can see, uh, Justin Beaver right there, or whatever, Jawson Beaver, sorry, will end up eating the two of them. And you'll basically just have to reload the uh, checkpoint again and do it again. Uh, so that's how you do that particular level. So go ahead and grab this little spindly, bindly, windly thing. And then that's going to tie it all together. And that's gonna, that is gonna—that is what's going to get us going. So, yeah, it may take potentially a little bit. It may take you a few times. It did definitely take me a few tries to realise what was going on. But you just have to be quick in terms of getting them, knocking the matchsticks in the river. And then it's all good. So, one, we've got these thimble, bimble, timble skin. Um, use your prison shank toothbrush. Obviously, put the inventory item on yourself. And then you can just fly on over. Get. Get the hell off my stuff, boy. And then we can just climb on over and go ahead and grab the next piece of piece that we need peacefully. So there we go then, if you want to have a quick check, there should be on the same amount of orbs as I am, etc. But that's pretty much done for this level now. So this is the bathroom all done. Now we're going to go into, for me, which was the worst and most confusing level of the game. Uh, so just head back, you're going to lose your plank, but that's fine. And then just head to the left to exit out of here and back into the labyrinth. And here we go again. So, back through the door. And like I said, we're not going to be here for too much longer. In fact, this is the last level that we need to be in the labyrinth. And then we can move on to the sort of open wide world area, as it were. Where you can backtrack to each level, which is all good. So, head through the right-hand side door now. And um, basically, the like I said, this... Level for me just confused the crap out of me, and it was the most annoying, the playroom level. Uh, head down the stairs, of course, and it's only because there's a lot, sort of a lot going on. What you have to do is end up getting coal, and you also have to get petrol in the train as well, but it's, you'll see, you'll see anyway. Uh, so what we're going to do then is head through the very right-hand side door. And let's do it. So in this next area, there's going to be nine orbs and one amulet piece, by the way, that we're going to grab. So, of course, make sure that we are checking out the orbs. Go to the right. And we're going to get there eventually. And, you know, as I said, these levels are only about five or six minutes long. Something like that. At the most can be sort of ten minutes, something like that. But, um, well, since there's a lot of them. Right. Here we go, then. Annoyance. So the first orb is directly on the right-hand side on the Rubik's Cube. The second orb, if we open up the oven, is going to be directly in there. So that's number two out of nine already. Uh, if we start heading down, you're going to see number three, and it's going to be in the top left-hand corner. Massive one right there, very fairly obvious. Fourth one, if we have a look at the red ball, and interact, get rid of the red three pool ball right there. That's the next orb. Go to the right slightly again, and the next orb is very much on the forefront of the screen. So pick that one up. Interact with this U-shape hatch-looking thing. That is the next orb. Orb in up life. 
have a look at this um, stitching and open that up. And that's going to be, again, right at the very forefront of the screen. It's going to be the next orb. And then we can crack on with this confusing um, puzzle. So you need to get rid of the sort of block right there first. And then what you need to do is interact with the third cooker thing. Move this fan here over to the right. It can, I'm sorry, this is going to be an awful explanation because it confused the crap out of me. You need to interact with the third um, cooker of the right. And then what that's going to do is knock over, as you can see, just on the left right there. So when this happens, what you need to do is interact with... Uh, go to the left and interact with the... Once the pot falls down, there's going to be another orb right behind that. So make sure to pick that one up. There it is. Now, for whatever particular reason, I thought you had to get coal in there from the sort of coffee. Coffee beans look like coal. Um, I only ended up having to get petrol, or sort of the water at the front of the train. And then it seemed to work for me. Uh, so the way to do that then if, is if you have the setup exactly like it is. So the plank at the top, so the ball falls down. You need to drag the gun with the A, uh, A button and the left bumper. And we basically need to shoot the balloons. So you need to put the fan above the gun on the right hand side. And you need to, there it is, so eventually, so you need to get the gun, shoot into the fan in order to pop the balloon. That'll get the ball down and that'll get the petrol going. So it's very confusing, that one, but uh, hopefully I kind of explained that okay. And then once you've done that and there's petrol going in, use the whistle pops on the train and that'll get you, that'll start you going. But again, for whatever reason, I don't know if in the original game you had to put the coffee bean coals in. This time, for me, I didn't have to. So, grab the orb here at the very bottom of the screen, uh, by, by the entrance. And there's another, well, it's not an orb, but it's the third, sort of, it's the third amulet piece, what we need. Now, once you collect orbs, the more orbs, the more they get filled up. So, that's all good. <sighs> right, what we can do now, we're going to head down to where our little trainy train bags is. And then from here, we're going to interact with this puzzle below us. Eventually we are, because we need to get it going. Now all you have to do is just move everything so that the three plus symbols are at the top, the three minus symbols are at the bottom, and the two um, random, the two blank pieces are in the middle. You know, it's very easy enough. Um, you've literally just got to follow it around. And yeah, it's, it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes, really. Oh man, this level could suck a donkey. So once that is complete then, what you're going to do, we're going to grab our whistle pops eventually. Yeah, wrong one broski broski. We'll try that again. So yeah, grab your whistle pops again, use it on the train. And of course, remember, like I said, if you feel like you're stuck or anything, you can restart the section. But you will have to recollect an orb just in case that you missed one. Um, but it won't actually restart the level. It'll just restart you from a little bit uh, earlier on. So if you're thinking that you want to restart the level, well, you can't. Right, when we get dropped back down anyway, uh, we're pretty much all good now. So we can just head to the right and we can get the hell out of Dodge. Again, make sure then that we were on the same amount of orbs that I was just before we left. <sighs> Let's finally head out of this exit hole. Straight at the top then, into the good stuff, and we'll begin level 7, the kitchen area. Now there are two missable achievements which you will get in the kitchen area. Two of which are going to see me edit them down because I actually forgot to get them first. I actually had to get them at the end of the game, then come back. So uh, if you're wondering why, I mean the edit is not too bad, but you know, if you're wondering, then uh, that's, that's probably why. So we're going to head out. Head out of the exit hole, get out of this labyrinth. I'm glad this wasn't for the entirety of the game because this wore quite thin towards the end. Having to go through different doors and up and down stairs and all that jazzmagoni, jizmaroni. Jizmaroni! Eventually, we can head. There's the exit door with the big lamp on it. Finally!
So here we are then, the kitchen area. First things first, pick up the strawberry right from in the forefront of the screen. That'll be for a main quest later on. Pick up an orb right up by the fan in the little cubby hole area. There is another orb right in the tree just outside. Very tricky to find that one, so grab that. Head over to the right, and next of all, we're going to start messing with the cooking utensil. This is where we're going to get the one achievement. You basically need to interact with the, uh, everything here, so the knife until it falls down, the garlic, interact with it twice until some of the garlic falls off. So that'll fall off, lovely. And then there's an orb behind that, that's why we do that. Interact with the frying pan, the cheese grater, the uh, ladle next to it. Now, for the achievement, all you got to do is interact with the, like, wig that's on top of the teapot right next to the cheese grater and ladle, and you'll get the achievement. But I'll show you in just a bit. The next orb is just by the lever there, by the that, that caterpillar thing. Um, carbon, obviously, that is the final boss area, so we're not going to be getting there for a while yet. So we, what we need to do, and for the next, obviously, missable achievement, you need to just interact with the valve. Uh, where we just put the tap, that valve, you need to just interact with that ten times to unlock the achievement. Again, I'll grab that one in just a little bit, but in order to get the um, dumb as a mule or stubborn as a mule, just interact with that valve ten times. Next up, grab the orb just that's just come out of the water. That's the next orb. That's why we turn the water on. And we're going to leave that water on as well. And then we'll head to the left. Spider cannot attack us, so don't worry. Uh, the next orb then, we have to do a little bit of a puzzle here. So interact with the middle row draw on the left-hand side first. And then the middle row right draw. Right draw. Then the bottom right, so the bo uh, bottom one. And then where it says six, do that one. And then the middle draw, put it in again, and that'll open up the orb. Or that'll get one orb. Next, the top right corner. And that'll get this next uh, golden ring, which our caterpillar friend, or whatever that's supposed to be, is going to get. Next, the top left. And then the bottom right. And then the um, one just above it with six on it. Then the one above that, open that one up. Then interact with the bottom right one again. And then interact with the top left, draw, and then the um, sort of fourth row, and that is the uh, next orb done. And finally, we're just going to push the right, bottom right and bottom left ones in. The middle row, or the third row, left and right, push them both in. The top left row, and then obviously the one that's remaining, we're going to push them all in. And that's all good. Now what we can do is interact with this chain right here. And that's going to set off a whole... That's going to fall, set off a whole bunch of things. Then we are going to grab... Uh, push on some buttons. That's what we're doing. So the first button was uh, just on the left, just above the chain. Second one is just by the fan. Third one is just underneath the teapot here in the middle of the screen. And the fourth one is just to the right there. Top right corner of the teapot. So you need to be smashing that one out. Right, next, what we're going to do then is we are going to, now that the gate have been closed and the spider is away, <clears throat> screw you, stinky ass, crappy ass spider, um, <laughs> because spiders suck really, don't they? They're just pointless, they're just put on this earth to frighten the crap out of you. So, uh, if you can, if you want, you can interact with him, he's basically going to tell you what he wants and what he needs, and we've obviously got what he wants and what he needs. <laughs> Comes in handy, doesn't it, I suppose? Um... <laughs> We're going for 12 orbs, of course, on one diary page. So once we've got that one, there is a, obviously an orb directly in the way there in the ladder. So, of course, we're going to pick that one up, so make sure to do that. And with that one done, what we're going to do now is head uh, to this bot sort of top right-hand corner. And we're going to pick up, this is where the diary page is. So El Caterpillar, well, for some reason, El Caterpillar has an incredible mustache. Incredible mustache, to be fair. Um, but that's where the diary page is for this level anyway. Next of all, what we're going to do, we're going to head back around. We are pretty much almost done now with this level. Um, there is one more orb to grab. Now, it is just behind where this tap is. There's a little hatch. So what you might need to do is get Violet to move to the left a bit. And just, it's literally on the right-hand side of the um, metal doors right there. So you need to open that up. But the tap's in the way. So the tap can be a bit of a pain in the ass. And then eventually, though, you should be able to open it up. There we go. And the orb is inside. So we get there eventually, see? Right, a couple more left to grab. First one <laughs> is going to be in the tea, the teapot just above on the shelf. That's going to be the first one. 
And then the next one is going to be with the lever on its own. Um, the little matryoshka doll or whatever it's bloody called. You know, those creepy dolls and stuff like that. Um, I'm not actually trying to interact with the lever. If you open up the mouth on the doll right beside El Mustachioed Caterpillar Legend. There we go. That is where the next orb is. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and grab the other achievements. So remember, you've got to interact with every cooking utensil here. Which includes the sort of what looks like a wig with a bunch of pearls and stuff on it. Um, that's all the things that you've got to interact with here for the Gargon de Cuisine achievement. Right, and then for the next one, like I said, all you've got to do, for some reason my camera kept going nuts, but all you've got to do is spin the valve ten times. I don't think it makes a difference if it's on top or if it's on the bottom, but it's all you've got to do is interact with it ten times until you get the stubborn as a mule achievement. So again, like I said, if you end up missing these for whatever particular reason, do not worry because you can literally just backtrack to the kitchen area and the next set of areas that we're going to if you do end up missing something. So, near panic, that's what I had to do. And that's because apparently I suck at video games. Hooray! So after that achievement unlocks then, we can now finally just crack on with it. So there are the two sort of edits over. So now we're back in terms of orbs. Uh, but what we need to do is give him the both rings. Um, one for the pink, one for the... Uh... No, I won't say that one. Uh, but we basically just need to give him the two rings that we found. And that will uh, enable us to go down the ladder and into the next area. Bird, hold your horses there, cream puff. We are not heading down the ladder just yet. We've still got one more orb left to grab just before we do that. So let's head to the left for now. We're going to climb back up to the sort of starting area. And remember, as you can see on the left hand side, there is where the next orb is right in the set of blueberries. So grab the key. I mean, that's a lot of work to do just to grab, you know, one or two bloody blueberries, mate, and an orb. Shies is criminy. Anyway, open it up. Again, you know you, when you'll be able to open up because you get like a little red glow around the um, key component. Then you can go ahead and grab the orb. And, my friends, we are done after we grab just a couple of grapes right there. So we need to grab a couple of them. So that's what you should have in your inventory right now. 23, 23, 20, three whistle pops of strawberry and some blueberries or grapes, whatever they are, my eyes are deadness right now, apparently. Now we can head down the ladder and uh, we're gonna be coming back to this kitchen area to go to other areas, but in terms of everything in the area, the area is aerated. Okay, so here we go into the mine. So there are two diary pages here, but we can only grab one for now and we've got nine orbs. So let's go ahead and crack, crack on with them, shall we? First of all then, the first orb is Right in the middle of the screen there on the rocks, that was obvious. One in the water as well, that's another obvious one. The third one then is going to be right in the sort of ice cube, right in the forefront of the screen, that's number three. Number four is just by the bridge on the opposite side. Number five is going to be right in the sort of bushy bush, whatever that is right there, and the right in just in the water. And then as we head down, um, <laughs> apparently it's Rayquaza. He's uh, come to have a look, we need, we need something for him anyway. So what we need to do is get rid of these little diseased wieners. The, the, <laughs> I mean, they, they, they might as well be. So when you push two of those, they'll go up at the top uh, left of the screen. We need those in order to make the bridge collapse and go down on the other side. Um, so what we can do for now then is we can head up. There is the diary page here on the left just by the stairs. So let's make sure to grab that one first. Huh? There we go. So that is your one diary page. Pincher is what they call. They're not called a diseased wiener. It's called a diseased wiener pincher. Ah! Get your hands off my diseased wiener pincher! Uh, or something rather. Right, so what we're supposed to do is you're supposed to get one of these pinchers and they're supposed to pop the little greasy head up the other side of the rocks. Now, this can take a few tries. It can be kind of buggy. Um, but what, what you're supposed to do is eventually you're supposed to push them enough that he's going to start popping his head up here. Um... 
Again, it may take you five or six tries. It literally took me about five or six tries for whatever particular reason. So just keep going. Basically, just keep hitting this old disease pincher until he pops his head up there. And then what we can do is go ahead and interact with the top left pincher. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. And then what that's going to do is knock one of the bridges down. Finally. And then we can hit the one just to the right of it as well. And then what we're going to do is just underneath hit that one. So that it knocks off one of the diamonds. That's going to fall right in front of us. So make sure to pick that one up. And then happy days. Right. So what we can do now from here we can head down. And we can actually give the diamond to Rayquaza. <laughs> God damn it, this dude doesn't want much disease. So now we've got to make a song for him or something. So here is one of the precious rare diamond gems of life. Now you need a song to go with it. You son of a... Right, let's go ahead and do that then, apparently. So, heading back up the stairs then, we obviously need to get rid of the rest of the bridge. Uh, again, sometimes it can be finicky for Violet to walk, but we need to hit the very top one in the third row. And then what that's going to do is he's going to pop off and then hit the next one down. And then he will hit the bridge down. And it is pretty much just as simple as that now. So, just keep hitting the very top one and then the second one and then until we get to the other side. So, nice easy puzzle there, all done. Before heading right, head to the left a little bit. And as you can see, just on the right, just on the bottom right hand corner of your screen is the next orb in between the crystal formations. The next orb is just above that, just in between the two what looks like pipes. So, head to the right. Now, what you're going to see behind the very uh, left icicle is another orb. So, there are six icicles. The orb is just behind the very first one on the left. And now, we've got this little puzzle where we have to fill up um, these specific things, whatever the hell we're filling up, by interacting with the ice cube. So, for instance, you interact with the uh, left, very left ice cube three times. And as you can see, it's filling up three times. Four times we're going to do that one. And then the, for the second one, we're going to fill it up again. So, we need to fill this one up just twice. And then skip the third one, go for the fourth one. And we need to get this one in three times. So, hit that one three times. There we go. And then the next one, you're going to hit it five times. And then the last one, you're going to need to hit the icicle just once. So it should be three, two, zero, three, five, one. Then you can hit the lever or button or whatever it is in front of us. And that's going to pop off this song. Job done. Job done, Mulligan. Right, so that just opens the gate. Now we have to do it again. So what we need to do is just interact with all of the water taps to get rid of them all. And then this time, the, basically the code, what we're going to call it, the code is going to be 310241. So obviously, like I said, with the first icicle drip, hit it three times, and then the next one once, etc. So it's 310241. Two, four, one, and then hit the button with the X button, and job's done. That'll get the basically, I'll get the Rayquazas given a little bashy bash of life, and we can head on through. Okay, so a little diamond and a little bit of music and you can seduce absolutely anybody um, So yeah, if there's a love of your life who's not quite feeling the same way as you Go mining grab one of those rare incredibly rare diamonds and then make sure that you pick her her or his favorite song Easy mate, right? There is another orb. It's gonna be right in the icicle right at the top of the screen 
right there. So make sure to grab that one there before heading on. And of course, then we can end up looking like these Rayquazas who look very much in love. Slash, they look very much... They, they kind of look, look a bit mashed up now, to be honest. One mating session equals death. Worth it. Right, but that is it. Now, there is, obviously, as you can see, one diary page, which we cannot grab yet. So we'll be grabbing that one later. So for now, what we can do is just head on through. There's nothing else for us to grab. Um, that plant, that's another power that we're going to grab in just a little bit. So slip on through there, and we're going to end up now in Z construction Society. Job done. Another missable achievement here, plus a lot to grab. So top left corner, we're going to grab the first orb straight away. And then what we're going to do is just head to the right ever so slightly, and another orb is in the top of the screen right behind another icicle thing. Start heading slightly to the right there, and you can see another orb that was just behind the rock formation. And as we go to the right, if you put the cursor where I am, it's literally in the exit doorway. It looks like we're going to be escaping, but it's not. There's an orb right there, as you could just see. So it was right there. Another orb just above the frog thing, that's or the mole that has just been um, uh, possessed. and <laughs> well, Not possessed, but he's on his last belly. Another one just to the left of the mole by the ladder. Very, very easy to miss. Very hard to see that one by the waterfall. So make sure to grab that one. And then as we uh, hit the right here, what we're going to do is we are going to see on the right hand side, if we in interact with this hatch thing, there's another orb for us to grab. Plenty of orbs about. Right, there's going to be another orb just on the ha hard hats just above us. That one's very, fairly easy to spot it. One to the left, just in the middle of the water things. <laughs> the water things. Interact with this in order to grab a main item. And when we grab that, there's another orb just underneath it as well. So be picking that one up. Um, that guy is exactly like me, to be fair. Proper lazy, but, uh, you know, somehow we still s snip through life with no problems. Right, head over to the left-hand side. Now, we're going to open up this drawer. Now, I actually end up grabbing the bottle just accidentally underneath it. So, I'd, um, I'd recommend grabbing that bottle now as well. Just in case you forget it a little bit later on. So, grab the bottle, open up the drawer for another orb. Again, just realising that I could have probably done this in a, a bit of an easier formation rather than going back and forth. Anyway, interact with the key to the right, just uh, just above where Chunky Lazy Ball is. Of course, Chunky and Lazy doesn't want us to have the key. So what we're going to do then is interact with the small hard hat just above him. Again, apologies about the little edits right there. Uh, but interact with the hard hat. That is one thing that we can grab. And we're actually going to be coming up to the Petite Merzière achievement for getting dressed five times. So interact with the ball here on the right, just to the left. Or uh, just to the right of Chunky and Lazy. Basically me in a nutshell, in all fairness. And then what we can do from here then, we can interact with this smaller wood flute type thing. Get that pouring down to the right. Or what, what it looks like pouring down to the right. Head to the left. And, like I said, remember to grab the small second bottle just underneath the drawer if you didn't grab it just yet. Otherwise, all we're doing is grabbing the worker's vest. Yep, so remember to grab that bottle there, and then we're going to grab the worker's vest. So all you need to do then is get changed five times. So you can literally interact with the wooden board right there just to the left of Moly Mole. And then all you got to do, like I said, is just get dressed five times. And the Petit Merziel achievement will unlock you. Right, of course, you also get the safety first hand achievement. This is where the edit's going to skip in, by the way. So we're going to speak to Moly Mole, who is going to let us uh, get on top. <laughs> well, Moly, I'm not that kind of not that kind of guy, you know? Uh, but again, so just keep interacting with the wooden board until they get changed five times, and the Petimia's ER achievement will unlock. Again, apologies about the edit there, but now we can head up on the bicycle. And time to crack on with a little puzzle. So... With the bottom left-hand corner, we're going to interact with the cork, and we're going to grab that. Grab it again when it's gone in the middle, and drag it up to the top left-hand corner. Then, what we're going to do is grab the... It looks like a sort of weight, so grab it from the bottom and put it on the sort of right-hand side chain. Next, what we're going to do is go into our inventory. We should already have two weights in our inventory on the right-hand side. or th That's what the bottles we're referring to. So grab one, put it in the middle of the top one. So that'll pop up lovely there. 
That's going to start getting stuff going. And with the last weight then, what we're going to do is put it on the very left-hand side of the top one again. And that should start getting things flowing in motion. And look at that. Windmills going. That's going to get the elevator going. Flowing. And that is exactly where we're going to head. So head towards the right to the elevator. So, of course, what we're going to do then is climb up, climb on, and climb up. And what we're going to do as soon as we can, just keep your cursor hovered over. Then we can press the X or the A button, and she's going to get a little bit of a... Oh, she's going to get a little bit of a honey. Somehow, she's just going to smash it. A whole jar full, a whole barrel full, sorry, of honey. She's just going to smash that one out. Violet is on that trend bologna sandwich. Evidently. Right, anyway, what we're going to do is head down, and that's what we're going to do. The lid with honey on it, or whatever, the barrel, we're going to give it to Chunky Lazy Boy. Oh, yeah. like I said, the Welsh Hunter himself, me. And then when that's done, we can eventually interact with the key, we can grab that one, and we can finally get the one thing that we've needed for the entirety of this level, which is the foosball. It's a football, remember? It's not a soccer ball. Remember, because uh, football is round. And the ball goes by your foot, hence the name football. But again, we'll argue about that later on, won't we, Americans? <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking. Right, anyway, interact with the top of the shelf now, and that will get the uh, bike pedal down, which is, of course, what we need. So what we need to do is then climb up to where the bike is. And then, of course, whap into your inventory. Get the uh, next bike pedal out. And obviously, drag it over to the bike. Yeah, it's fantastic explanation in in, in 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 right there. Right, use it. Use it. Don't abuse it. Love it. Sweetly. Gently. And anyway, what that's going to do is, one, it's going to get us the next orb. But it's also going to uh, grab us a cheeky little waterfall, what we need. It redirects the water. That's what we need. So, of course, we're going to head down. We are going to grab the next orb. The orb of life. There it is. Grab it. And, uh, yeah, we've literally just done all the um, construction work for them, which is... Don't screw you guys. I'm, I won't. You should pay me. So, put the key next to the obvious-looking keyhole just to the left of the waterfall. In fact, you may have to do that twice, potentially. If it doesn't work, sometimes, like I said, this game can be quite finicky. So you may have to interact with things two or three times. That gets us to football. Pick it up. Head to the right. Give it to the mole that's stranded in the air. And we can finally get going. But make sure to get dressed back into your normal clothes first. Because obviously they won't let you go. So you've got to get dressed back into your normal clothes. The wooden, behind the wooden board. Which, of course, this is why it takes just a little bit longer here. Because I have to go and get undressed again. You just want to see me in the nude, you... Doity poivoit. I mean, I don't blame you, but still. <laughs> anyway, the next diary page is right in front of us when with the marmoles. So make sure to grab this next diary page right by the exit. And then, of course, we can head left, get undressed. Are you kidding me? And then we can head back to the right and uh, end this level.
So this is what you should be on then, 29, 30, 28 orbs of different colours, three whistle pops and the other various items that we need. As long as you're on them, especially with the orbs, we're pretty squared away. Golden Nuggety as Bilbo Baggins. Right, this is level 10 now, the Termite Mound and the Upper Cave. Uh, so this one's going to take around 10, 11 minutes. So the first orb is to the left of us, so make sure to grab that just by the flowers. The second one is just underneath on the rock. Formation. You need to get rid of this beetle, bug beetle, bootle. Hit that one as well, and that'll be the second one. Third one then is going to be right in the umbrella, right in the middle of the screen right here, just above the queen's head. So make sure to grab that. Just underneath the bridge is where we're going to walk to next, and that's going to open up this little hatchet, and that is going to grab uh, the next one. So the next orb of life. The next one is just literally on the queen's hat, so make sure to hit that one. Or, the, the, or just above to the left of the Queen's Hat. The next one is just to the right of the King, the King's Chair. Top left-hand corner in this little tiny, tiny rock. You're going to hit that button. And then another orb is just going to pop out. It's going to spit it out. Here. I do not like purple stuff to eat. Anyway, grab that one. And the top right-hand corner, there is another one. Literally in the top right corner of the sort of buildings. Bottom right corner is the next one just underneath where the hint system was and then we're going to interact with and speak to this angry looking rhino beetle bug or whatever the hell it is now basically we need to get dressed in order to go slightly more to the right okay so this is what we're going to do then so what we're going to do is head now to the left and head up the ladder again the only reason this is about 10 11 minutes long this level is just it's in about with the ladders it's a lot of pissing about so hit this ladder, climb up, and then hit the next ladder here and climb up. So, annoyingly, once we get all the way up to the top, the guard at the very top is going to be like, I'm going to stab you, Squaw in the Nostrilius. So, of course, in order to not be stabbed, Squaw in the Nostrilius, we need to head down, but not all the way down this time. So, and again, it, it's weird that sometimes the game needs you to interact with certain things in order to progress the story, and other times it just doesn't. Um, which is a bit... Uh, it is what it is, isn't it? So we're going to head down, and then what we're going to do, like I said, instead of going all the way down, we're heading to the right now onto this bridge. We're going to clamber all the way across. Remember, we've got a couple of orbs and things left to grab here as well. So interact with this bag of delicious nothingness. There is another orb that we are going to grab. So let's pop that one down, and then if we go to the bottom right-hand corner, just underneath the hint system again, there is another orb just on this leaf. And then if we have a look, just up above it, we can head through to the next area. It's only kind of like a little, small, little area, but it's with clothes. We need to get dressed. Apparently our clothes are not good enough. So the orb, which is in the middle of the clothes at the top, bottom right-hand corner of the bottom washing line. So that should be another two orbs that we've just grabbed. And then what we're going to do, there's another one just at the bottom right-hand corner in this flower petal. So that should be three orbs in this little area. Then you're going to interact with the lever itself and that is going to open up the way top job right so that's opened up the way what we're going to do is grab this uh, middle piece of clothing right here and the ones just to the left of it as well the little leggings the little trouser leggings slicey as dicey so that's how many orbs it should be on 33 34 and 34 plus a hat strawberry grapes and a piece of clothes that we just got so 
Heading out now to the left. What are we in our range? I tell you what's felt <laughs> recording this has felt like about five hours to be honest so far. Eh. Right, so now what we're gonna do, we are now going to start heading all the way back down. We need to get dressed. And if anyone tries to look at me, you're a poi voice. Okay. And hey, we don't take kindly to perverts around right here. Now Skeeter, he ain't hurting nobody. are on the bottom itself there is a coat hanger fairly obvious which one it is right next to the guard so head behind that again if you didn't have the petit merci achievement for getting dressed five times now is the time to do that as well if you wanted to so what we're going to do is we're going to head now all the way back up so again i i do apologize some of these i could have done in a bit in a bit a lot better smoother run in all fairness in terms of uh, gathering all orbs in one location uh, or going to different locations etc so I do apologize that sometimes it is a bit back and forth anyway keep heading to the top regardless for now So what we're going to do then, we're going to speak to Queenie. Uh, uh, is this supposed to be an ant? Looks like an ant. Anyway, we're going to speak to Queenie Ant. And then what they're going to say is, blah de blah de blah Some creds. But they are going to give us a sheet of paper. What we need in order to give to the guard down below. Now, this is why a couple of these levels are literally about 10, 11, 12 minutes potentially. Is you're walking back and forth to get one kind, tiny, tiny thing. Anyway, now we're going to head all the way back to home. And now we can finally go ahead and speak to the angriest looking ant guard thing in the world. Who pissed on your chips this morning, pal? Is it weird? me? Anyway, give him the signed note. What looks like my daughter ended up doing that, to be fair. Um, <laughs> top writing. So the guard's going to be like, ah, screw you, buddy. Get the hell out of the way. And we're on to this next little puzzle. But a few orbs we're going to grab first. So first of all, and a few items. First of all, the first one, we may have to walk just the right a little bit more. There it is. Um, and open up this hatch on the right hand side to grab an orb. And then, for some reason, the camera may just keep hit going left and right for whatever particular reason. Even if you're trying to stay right or stay left, whatever. Anyway, interact with on the top row, the first arrow until it's pointing up. The second arrow until it is pointing uh, down. The third arrow here on the top row, uh, hit that again until it is pointing down. On the bottom row, hit the left arrow there until it is pointing down. The next arrow, keep pointing it until it is pointing just to the right. And the left one, the very right one, you can keep hitting it until it is pointing to the right again. And then what that's going to do then is, once again, redirect that water flow, girls. And it's going to get these little peas in a pod. Delicious. So all you're going to do then is head to the right and you're just going to grab one of those. Or apparently all of them. Because, yes, you need all those purple peas in a pod. Right, same little puzzle here. The top left row, hit the arrow there until it is pointing to the left. The next arrow, hit it until it is pointing to the uh, right. The third arrow, 
hit the arrows there until it is pointing to the up. And then the bottom one, leave the left one pointing down. The middle one, you can get it pointing up, and that's going to redirect the water flow again. And then as you can see, more stuff's going to grow. Ah, fantastic, man. I'm a gardener, and I didn't even know it. I'm definitely not a poet, otherwise I wouldn't know it. And you can ch ch choke it. Ah, oh, damn it. Anyway, what you're going to do then is interact with the... Ah, there we go. Interact with the water there at the top. That's going to get us some beans. Some beans means hinds. So that's all we're after then. The purple beans in a pod and the beans on a baked bean. And that's it. Then what we can do is uh, we actually need to get dressed first, remember? So, you know, again, get dressed. And you, if you if you try looking at me, I am going to... I'm going to hit you with one of my boobs, okay? That's it. And you're not going to like it because I got solid boobies. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do once we are dressed... Again, that little plant thing there, we'll come back to later when we've got the specific power. But we need to head, not directly left, but just above, up to the left right there. And that's going to put us to level 11, the Snail Lake. So what you're going to see is an achievement unlock from me on screen, and that is for collecting all orbs. Now, it's because I missed one in my original run, so you will not get this. Still keep collecting everything that I do on screen. So the first one is right above us in this obvious looking hatch thing. So open it up and then collect it. Like I said, you're not going to unlock the achievement here like I do. <laughs> this is the one that I actually missed through the first gameplay. So make sure to collect that green one and then just buy the blue cloth just underneath it. You're going to unlock this orb, and then we're going to start heading down. And a snail chef is going to be cooking a, uh, a French delicacy. Snail soup. Do all the French eat snails? Do, do you all eat snails? Honestly, that's, that's just what's in every TV show ever for some reason. Uh, so, just in the hatch right there and uh, is, is another orb. Just to the right bottom right of the snail here is another orb. So, make sure you're going to be grabbing two of those. And just... In the middle, right behind the snail, is another orb. Right, right in the middle of that sort of blue-looking way, little blue dot thing right there. Anyway, there's going to be another two orbs in the flowers that we, as Violet, are just uh, standing by. You're going to get a whole bunch of achievement for collecting 50% of each particular orb, plus all the orbs. So that you should get them slamming on you right now. Uh, apologies for standing still for just a minute. I actually got confused as... As to whether I just unlocked the orb where the cursor is pointing right now. Uh, so that's why I sort of stood still for a second. Uh, so you should have collected 50% of all orbs plus the other three achievements related to them. So make sure to grab the orbs out of the two flowers right here. One on the left, one on the right. Once that's done, that's all good. Now there is one at the very top of the screen. Hit that one. Go to the right. And there is one right on the snail's eye. Or eye or whatever the bloody hell that thing is. There is one just underneath where the snail's mouth is as well, where the cursor is right now. So make sure to pick that orb up as well. And then that's pretty much it for the collecting of the orbs. I'm still confused as to whether I grabbed that, even though, yes, <laughs> yes, I did. Right, uh, once you interact with and speak to the snail, he wants some stuff for his soup. A crab, some peas, and some beans. Now remember, of course, we've already got the peas and beans. So it's just Mr. Crabs that we need. And we're also going to get another achievement here... Don't think you can miss this one. I'm pretty sure this is story related. But all you got to do is when the crabs come through, uh, when the cr crabs come by on the rock, you've got to hit it as quick as you can. Eventually, anyway. So we're, apparently we're going to be coming back to that a little bit later. Uh, so for now, we're heading up to the left. The snail guard won't let us through. So what you got to do is interact with the green, uh, the green shirt on the left-hand side for the snail to look at, and then we can slip on by. So hit the green shirt there on the left. The snail's going to be like, oh, what was that? And then we can just uh, head to the right. Hit the clothesline. And now the snail's going to be like, hey, you guys. Anyway, you should be on 37, 37, and 38. Remember, I've already, I just missed one of the green ones. So 37, 37, and 38 orbs is what you should be on right now. Right, so now with the clothesline done, now we can finally start getting crabs. It's very easy to do, depends where you're looking. 
Um, but you need to give the the clothesline fisherman or the clothesline rod thing to the big snail right here. Which is obviously why we went left first. So what you're supposed to do then is every time the crab comes onto the rock, he's supposed to hit it as quick as he can. There we go. That's going to fall down. And that's going to get one of the crabs up onto the weight. Just keep doing this until Chunky Snail Bear has a feast. We unlock the achievement. And we need to do one more to grab ourselves some crabs. Again, depends where you're looking. Plenty of crabs on dating sites these days. <laughs> Thank you for giving me crabs, snail. Don't know what you would do to get crabs off a snail, but that's what we've got. So, now we can give uh, le, le French chef his delicacies, what he needs. Remember, he needed the purple beans, the other beans, and a crab. So, put each ingredient into the pot, and the... F and the... The, 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 the snail, the chef, is going to be like, Ah, oui, oui, I must kiss you where the sun does not shine. I don't know why that is, but it is. He's, he's a very happy he's a very happy chef. Right, once all once all here in, that enables the pot to appear, and that is the one we can grab. You can uh, sticky kisses where your sun doesn't shine. Thank you, sunshine. We're out of it. I don't want you kissing me where there is only supposed to be one exit hole, nothing entering in there. Right. Anyway, that's enough of the terrible, terrible French accent. <laughs> Apologies to all the French people, I'm just offended with that, by the way. Now, we hit the green uh, shirt on the left again, so the uh, it'll start wobbling, wibbling around. And then we can head through the exit, and now we can start heading to the right. So, interact here with the diary page, the diary page right where we are right now. And, of course, it's going to tell us about snails, which we obviously know what a snail is, we know what a snail looks like, and we know that it can give us crabs in very rare circumstances. So keep heading to the right anyway. It's going to be like this one whole long bridge happening right now. Uh, so, oops. Oopsie doodle. Let's head back to the right. So, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I think, I think I meant to edit that part out and I missed it. So, anyway, we're just keeping heading to the right. That's what we're doing. The boot, you should have a boot there by now. And then what you're going to do is head down, but not all the way because there is an orb. Right in the sort of rock formation with green deliciousness uh, sticking out of it right there. Green uh, green gems or whatever it is. But there is the orb right where Violet's head is right now. That's job done. Another orb in the top right hand corner in this flowery looking thing. And then we can head to the right. Have a look at the boat. It looks like a boat. It's kind of like a paper boat. Uh, big It the Clown's going to appear out of absolutely nowhere now. And there is an orb that is just underneath that boat in the water. So that should have been three orbs that we grabbed. So 38, 38, and 39 orbs we should be on right now. So head to the right to finish this section-y, level -y section. So here we are then in the lower cave. Now this is the one where it has a pain in the ass rotating ring puzzle. Which I'm not sure if it's actually random. So what we need to do anyway is give this uh, old turtle kung fu master. He kind of looks like his grubskis. Which again will be the chef's delicacy. And if you do not like it, I spit on you. I spit on your family. I spit on your butt. For some reason. Anyway, like I said, that is the, genuinely that is the last French accent that I do. So what we need to do then is... Um, you just have to grab the pipes that are scattered around in order to get up the ladder here on the right hand side. Uh, grab the orb there from the bottom right drawer. There's another orb in the top left corner right there just by the house. Another orb will be in this little hatch thing just on top of the roof. Uh, again on the top left corner you'll be able to see it. There it is. So make sure to grab that. Uh, push this button in first of all. 
That's what we're going to do. And then what that's going to happen, we'll have a little look. And here is the rotating ring puzzle. Colors are on. It's a slight pain in the bum to snatch, I tell you. Anyway, what we're going to do then is... Now we can head to the ladder and it's going to say... We need to pick up some pipes, yo! So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Pick up some pipes. So the first one is directly by Violet, uh, where she's standing right now. So make sure to pick that one up. The next pipe is obviously just to the left, where you can see. Fairly obvious where that one is. The third one is again just left slightly down, sticking out of some flowers. So that'll be the third one that we need to grab. The fourth one then is over to the left hand side, very left hand side of the screen. So there we go, make sure to be picking that business up. Just at the top of the screen is where the next pipe is. So grab that one. And then that's pretty much all squared away. So all you need to do now is get all five, even though there is, no there is actually five. So get five, put them all on, and then we can climb up. And once we're at the top then, if you interact with the gargoyle here on the top right hand corner just above Violet's head, the gargoyle or whatever the hell that's supposed to be, eventually it's going to open up and there's going to be another little orb for us to grab, so grab that one. In the archway there is another orb, so a little blue orb just in the archway, in fact there's two of them. So make sure to be grabbing two of these orbs from the archway directly above us. Um, into the left. If we click left, we're going to start heading up, and we're going to start heading up towards the puzzle now. Uh, so eventually, she's going to appear, so just keep on pushing, keep on pushing. Now, this one again, I'm not sure if this one is randomized, but what's going to happen is, when you... Uh, there's another orb, sorry, by the way, top right-hand corner, just there where the cursor is. That is where the third one is. We can't actually get this diary page for now anyway. Uh, but basically, on the second and third column, so basically it's going to be A, B, C, D from the very top. So... I'm going to show you uh, the way that I sort of went to do it first. Sorry, I'm just re-grabbing that orb, um, which you should have already grabbed because I messed it up. Uh, so what I ended up doing was hitting the second one first. So B first, so B once and then again. So that's B twice. Again, A to A, B, C, D from top to bottom. So B twice and then C. I'm going to basically show you what, what goes wrong and then what will go right. So C again. So B, B, C, C, C. So B, B, C, C, C. Ah, C. And then A four times. Now, originally, I think this was supposed... I think this was the order every single time. So it was the second one, the third one, the second one twice, the third one three times, and the top one four times. But for whatever particular reason, it didn't happen. But what you're going to see eventually on the second and third columns is two sheets of paper. And it's basically going to tell you how to complete the puzzle. But the last two are going to be scratched out. So the reset button is directly by Violet's head. Now, for me anyway, when I reset the puzzle, it was D, D. So the bottom one, bottom one, there's the um, one of the sheets, the two of the sheets. So it was D, D, C, C, and then A. Um, that Now, obviously, when you reset the puzzle, it'll tell you on the third column um, row. So, I'll hit A. So, it was D, D, C, C, A. And that'll get all four golds lined up. And that will open up the way for us. Um, but if you have a look, it will tell you. If you hit the reset button, um, it'll start heading to the left. And that is exactly um, the, the order in which you need to do it. But it only it o it'll say the first couple. And then it'll scratch out the final one. So you'll have to sort of um, try and figure that one out in your own or guess on your own. But that one is a bit of a pain in the bum, I'm very sorry to say. Um, these are the orbs you should be on and everything by now. But again, hopefully it's not random and it is the same. And if you hit, so if you hit the reset bu button, hit D, D, C, C, and then A. And then hopefully that'll be, uh, that'll get you through this puzzle as quick as. Um, it did certainly take me quite a while to figure that one out. Very much a pain in the bum right there. So anyway, when that is done anyway, we're going to start heading up now towards the archway. Uh, we're actually going for a puzzle. So as we head in at puzzle, we're actually going for the power now. Puppy power! So as soon as you grab this power, then we can actually start doing a bit of backtracking and grab some orbs and some diary pages, which we couldn't before. <laughs> Yippee! 
And that's exactly what we're doing then. So for now, uh, just keep heading to the left, all the way left, until we get out of this area and the snail trail area. And of course, we're starting to head right out of the construction mine now. Now we're going to go into the termite mound, an upper cave mound. And the reason for that is if we have a look directly on the floor, pretty much straight in front of us, you can see the plant sign come up. As soon as you hit that, that is what will get us up. Ta -da! And that is what will grab us the next diary page. So, of course, the more powers we get, the more sort of backtracking we'll have to do. There's the Oh, termites, not ants. Yeah, you sound kind of termitey. Anyway, head to the left again. That's pretty much it now for this area. We've got everything that we have. So this time, when we are in the construction area again, what we're going to do is head directly to the left. Not up, but we're going directly to the left this time. So we're back in the... Rayquaza Diseased Wiener Pinchy Pinch uh, Cave. Directly to the right of you should be the next plant location, which will pop us up, and that'll get us the next diary page. Well, they're apparently called crystal knotters. They look more like pubic hair, to be honest, especially right now as they're all twisted up. Oof, you know when you've got a big jungle 70s bush? And they sort of all matted and... How did you keep it so fresh? I just, I can't be asked. Whip mine off. Not that anybody wants to know about pubic hairs, of course. But uh, anyway, so let's continue. Ah, you disgusting lot. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, right, now we're back into the kitchen area. Anyway, we're going to a couple of new areas. Let's climb the ladder. Let's uh, forget... Swiftly forget about the uh, pubic hair conversation, of course. And we <laughs> move on... And now we are into the aeroplane little area. So a little puzzle that we have to do again um, in order to get these um, little <laughs> birds out the way. Uh, now, they are what you should be on right now, 40 and 40. Of course, you're not going to see the green ones because we've already got the one power, which makes all the sense. So what we're going to do first then is directly just above us is the next first orb of this area. Uh, we'll start heading down. We'll do the puzzle in a minute, of course. Just to the left-hand side is the next orb. Third one is in the tree, so make sure to be grabbing that. Next one is on the, if we just head left just a little bit again, we are going to see it eventually. There it is, where the three red flags are, that is where the next one is just behind them. 
The next one is on top of the big buildings on the right hand side. There's another orb. Right in front of us in the fence, that is the next orb. And then we can head back up to where the little Easter birds are, or whatever the hell you want to call them. Diseased birds! Just to the bottom right hand side of the tree, that is where the next orb is. So when we've grabbed that, that's all good. Now we can start the puzzle. So uh, there are a couple of strings here. The one closest to us here on the left, on the left, to the left of Violet, but on the right hand side of the puzzle with the yellow bell. Hit them. That's going to get some of the yellow bells going. Oh, the yellow birds going, sorry. And that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So head down. And now we need to head down. Basically, what we're trying to do is get to the other side, but we need that one purple bird to move. You literally could have kicked him off, but there we go. Um, right, so what we need to do now, from here, we're going to climb up the ladder here on the left. So climb it louder. I say climb it, we're going to slam it around the other side. Then on the very left-hand side of the puzzle, that is the next set of strings, or the next rope that we're going to pull. Oh, come on, Violet, mate, we ain't got all day, brat. Come on. I mean, I know you're only 83 pence, but, uh, you know, still. Come in. So that gets rid of the green birds, or that puts them in another specific order. So what we're going to do, we're going to head down, and now we're going to interact with the middle rope, which is the purple birds. So we're going to interact with this not once, not twice, but actually, yeah, twice. So, what are you going to do then? So, interact with it once. The one purple bird stays on the right, so we need to interact with it again. And then eventually, that is going to open up the path for us on the right-hand side, and that is a job done. So, we finally made it, so well done. Uh, there is an orb at the very forefront of the screen out of these steam pipes right here. So make sure to grab this orb, and then there is another orb right at the very top of the screen, just in between the two, the pipey bits or whatever, so grab that one as well. You can go ahead and speak to Miss Mr. Mr. Mouse, Mr. Mr. Mouse, uh, and obviously Mr. Mouse wants some cheese, so that's what we're going to grab. For some reason, the cheese has gone to jail for smells against humanity. So what we need to do then, we need to head to the left, you need to actually interact with the jail door itself, and then that is what would allow us to grab the key. For some reason, we can't teleport, telekinetically grab the key down without saying, cheese your smelly douchebag, get out. So when we got the key anyway, we're going to grab, well, grapes or blueberries aren't exactly going to help cheese, is it? I mean, it's tasty on the both of them, but uh, you ain't gonna, it ain't going to work well for a key. So anyway... Luckily, that's as easy as it is for the key, so grab the chi, zzz, and then give it to Mr. Mouse. And now we are here at the chimneys. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a puzzle that we're going to do in just a bit. But for now, we're going to grab the orb just to the top left of Violet's head. The second one is just a little bit below that and to the left, right in the middle of the screen. Third one, we're going to open up this hatch. Again, right in front of us here because there are eight orbs that we can grab here. And another four that we can grab later with the power. So, uh, interact with this lever or this hatch or this valve. Sorry, that's what we're trying to say. And interact with it, so we interact with it twice there, and that'll just get us one orb, that's what we need. And then we can just start heading sort of to the left, and now we're going to head up towards this puzzle. So just keep going, up to the left, and as you can see, this is where we end up. So just with the flames on the right is where we need another power to grab the remaining orbs later, so that's fine. Don't worry about that, we can't actually grab them just now. You could just go around it very easily, 
that's not going to happen apparently. So these flags, what you have to do is there's an elevator. Now what we have to do is interact with and walk past these flags in order to switch it to the other side, which will get the elevator going down or up. And obviously you have to do this in a particular order. Uh, the flags have to, some of the flags have to look left, right in order to go up. So obviously putting that first one that we are by to the left, that's going to get us going. And now we're going to start heading up. And then we're going to need to head to the right. Now, for whatever reason, I didn't get the memo first, but you do need to head off to the right here. Um, but me being stupid, I missed my chance and i got to wait till we get back up. <laughs> Ah, finally we made it. So head right past the flag and then left again. That'll get the flag going the opposite way and it'll start heading up. So make sure that second row flag there is pointing to the left. That'll make us go up. And of course, we're going to head now to the left. So get off. Get off, man! Now we're going to climb up the ladder and there's going to be another orb for us eventually as well. So head all the way up to top. Just head all the way up to top now, nah, mate. And then if we have a look, there is an orb in the second hook, or the right-hand side hook. There is another orb just to the right-hand side chimney. Very easy, uh, very hard to miss, uh, very hard to spot as well. Interact here with the one brick on the left-hand side. And that will open up the orb on the right-hand side chimney to get that one going. And then click the brick in as well. Just, uh, you know, pop that off. That will get a third brick at the top. So hit that one. And then an orb will appear out of a chimney. As if by magic, as if out of nowhere. Grande. Right, so now we need to head back down. We have to put these flags in a particular position in order to get up. So, first of all, we're just heading to the middle row. And we're going to pop this flag in the middle row to the right. Okay, then we're going to head down. And then what we're going to do is actually climb back on. And uh, we just now need to wait for... Um, this little elevator. So we're obviously we're going to head down right here. Pop this flag over to the right. And then eventually we... Uh, the, I mean the elevator is stuck for us. So it's all good. Uh, so you need the middle row flag to the le uh, to the right. This... Uh, the, the bottom right flag to the right. And then this next flag to the left. So that is how this should be looking. So top flag to the left. Middle flag to the right. Bottom flag to the left. Okay. And then what we can do is just clamber on right here. We're going to need to head to the other side. So basically, it is just this next flag, uh, just to the right of us now, which we need. It can be a bit weird, and it can, again, the controls here can be a bit finicky. So head to the right, head to the left, so that the flag is pointing to the left. And then that should then be enough in order for us to get up all the way. And then we can finally reach what we're looking for. Well, yeah, that one does take a bit of time, especially with uh, some of the finicky controls. Can be a bit of a pain in the old poop to snatch, but there we go. We've made it. So, go ahead, grab this. Damn, it's electric. Oh, whatever she just said. Anyway, that's all good. Now, what we're going to do is just head back down the elevator, and we're pretty much squared away.
So now that we've got our super special power, what we can do after the aeroplane, we can head to the left and we can finally jump over and we can grab this one diary page that is just randomly chilling there. Mice. God damn you, mice disgust me. Oh, sorry. No, no, not, not that mouse. He was obviously a very nice mouse who uh, airplaned us. So when you've grabbed that one, we can now head back down. So like I said, until we've got another five minutes until we get into the sort of new next area. Uh, but what we're obviously going to do now is a bit of backtracking just to grab some of the orbs and some of the diary pages that we couldn't before. So now we're heading back to the right. So yes, the backtracking, of course, can be a slight pain in the old, uh, the old cockwumble, but um, it is what it is. If you like achievements, then it is what it is. So now we can finally grab the next diary page that was by the rotating ring puzzle. And then all we're going to do then is head all the way back to the kitchen area to start the next area.
So here we are then. This is technically now level 15 out of 21. Uh, the tree clock. So we've got 14 orbs to grab. So let's waste no time, huh? Uh, that's what we should be on right now. 46 at least of those particular orbs anyway. So let's crack on with it. So first of all, directly, literally in front of our face is the first orb. Pick that one. Right, nextly and thusly, just, uh, just sort of to the left of where we are standing is the next orb. So pop that one up. Again, some of these can be very hard to see. Just below us then is a little thing that we can open up. That's going to help. That's going to house the next orb. And then in the sort of in this little tree dome area, we can hit up. So right at the very top here, we can open up this hatch thing and grab yet another orb. There we go. Right. In the tree, just in the middle of this sort of doorway is another orb. Just to the right of that is a little door hatch that we can open up. And that's going to, guess what? House another orb. <laughs> yes, indeedy. Right, just to the right of us again, where the sort of weight is, that is another orb. And just below the tree trunk, bottom right. If we start heading there, and you are eventually going to see it, just to, it's literally in the trees. So bottom right hand corner there, right in the trees, is another orb. Just to the right of that, in the window, is another orb. Orb, 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 orb power. Just to the right, just to the top of the inventory bag, sorry, is the next orb. And then if we head to the left, you can see the, le it's literally just on the left there, the next orb. There's <laughs> quite a few to grab this one. Right in the bottom corner, you can see a little hatch, right by the hint section. So make sure to grab the two orbs that are out there without hitting the hint button. Um, if we go up now, there's quite a few in this crammed area, isn't it? So we head up, you can interact with the plant, uh, which should be on the stairs. That'll uh, make us get up and grab the diary page. There we go. So this time, what, what are we looking at this time? We're looking at a whole bunch of cuckoos. That's a whole lot of people who want to argue on Facebook with random strangers. Cuckoos! So what we need to do, uh, have a look at the plank. Of course, we can't reach it, even though you probably could. Um, the birds, they obviously need a little something, because Mommy is about. It wants a worm. So what we're going to do, we're going to interact with the worm twice here. And we need to interact with the worm anyway. There it is. Um, in order to grab the cork. So the cork should be just above where Violet is right now. So I don't actually think you need to interact with the worm, sorry. Um, so grab that cork. And then the one just above it again, you're going to grab that one. That's going to fall down. And that's not going to go well. Too much is it. So <laughs> grab those two. One in the left, uh, top left corner right here, right at the top of the stairs, is another cork that we can drop down and grab. So, poppity pop pops, poppity ping. That is microwave in Welsh, by the way. I'm so clever. Uh, there is another cork stuck in a tree. What that's going to do is, obviously, it's going to pop us open, and then it's going to get this one bug, which we're going to need to solve this puzzle. So, what we need to do then is interact with the ants that are just chilling. So, get him out of the way, and this bug, then, the old spider ant, whatever, we'll just uh, describe him as, he'll grab the first sort of grass or whatever and pop him out of the way. Now, this is like a time section, so you have to time the ant. You don't control the black ant, only the red ants you control. So if he gets blocked off, he'll just go back the way he came, and then come back in a second. So you need to time it where the ants are out of his way. So we need to head to the right now and get rid of the ant that will be on the right-hand side. He's just picked up this second couple of blades of grass, so make sure to hit the this ant out of the way. Again, sometimes it it's the finicky controls in this game can be a slight... Pain in the old cock-a-doodle-doo. In the old cuckoo. So again, hopefully you just clicked on enough times that the ant will get out the way. Right, so once he pops in his second bit of grass for his lovely new home, uh, pop the first ant below us out of the way. Okay, he might have to be a little bit quicker than I was just there, but still, uh, get that one out of the way. Then we need to head to the right to get the second ant out of the way. Oh, the third ant, sorry. So there will be a third ant, which for some reason, again, I decided to uh, to not realise until it was too late. Again, it's fine. You know, nothing can go wrong. It's literally just a bit of timing that needs to be done. So you need to hit this ant twice out of the way. Otherwise, like I said, the black ant there will just be like, you son of a... So there you go. So once you hit it twice, he will then get out of the way. But of course, this is time. So you've got to time it right. I just about get away with it. There we go. So what he's going to do, he climbs up to the top, gets this third piece of grass, make sure again, of course, that the ant is out of the way, 
and then just head to the left and get this first ant out of the way. Because he does take a couple of seconds to move. I like to move it, move it. So when he finally gets all three bits of grass, now he can get the cork for us at the very, very bottom of the screen. So remember to keep your ant out of the way. That is just annoying. That's incredibly annoying, actually. Uh, so <laughs> head the ant out of the way. Old, our little old black ant friend will pop out. There we go. And he finally gets the cork. And that is the final one that we need to get rid of the worm. Ish. So there we go. We popped that up. That should be three corks out of three that we've got now. Job done. So, like I said, now to go into your inventory, put all three corks in the holes where old Mr. Wormbags is. And of course, we can whap out the chained weight or whatever the hell that is. Or the worm's going to do it for us. And I think we've got to interact with it. There we go. Interact with it a couple of times there. And I'll get rid of that one. Job done. Okay. So now what we can do is that'll start getting the leaf clock chimer thing going. As you can see, the chain is starting to pull it up. Da -da. Now you just need to interact with the clock a couple of times. Um, I don't know if you've got to drag it or I think you've just got to interact with it a few times. Until a mama bird will show up. Ah, oh, yeah, no. Now, she's trying to go for the worm. But she's not very good at sticking all her gums on the worm. So, uh, that's all good. So, you can interact with her. What she's going to want. We're obviously going to need her to do that. But what she's going to want is... Some little blueberry grape things. Which, of course, we have plenty of. So, when, uh, when we can, pop the blueberry grapes, whichever they are. Put them on the plank. And that'll be good as gold. And of course, we also become a clock expert, get the TikTok achievement. Uh, TikTok, it used to be fun just for... Uh, Letting out for a clock. Now the words TikTok make my whole body shudder with disappointment. The fact that people are very, very stupid on TikTok. Not all, but some. So anyway, now we're into this new area with angry ant thing. So let's start off grabbing the orbs. One is on the sort of gated area right above us. The second one is above that in the trees. So that will be two. The third is just below us in a hatch. Uh, this is the tree house, sorry. So it's 13 to collect. And we've already just grabbed three. It's so just below us. So the fourth one is in these little sets of bushes uh, just to the left of Violet. Just above that in the rock formation is another orb. And then if we just uh, keep heading to the right, just where the doors are, or a bunch of doors, there's going to be another orb for us in, uh, to be able to grab. That's going to end up by angry ant thing. Ang angry grasshopper, whatever. Now, if we have a look to the right, what you're going to see is uh, me trying to get in, but there's actually a couple of orbs here. Just to the right of the gate, where the cursor was just now, right there, that is where the orb is. And then the next orb is, again, it's in the area by the tree, so if we can just sort of try and get through, hit the hatch on the tree, and grab the orb. So again, very easily miss miss well, missable ones there. Very right hand side of the screen in the tree, there will be two orbs. One in the bottom and one in the sort of middle row of the trees. And there's going to be another one there just uh, just next to the blue key, just to the right of the blue key. That's the next orb. And in the top right hand corner of the tree is the next orb. <laughs> so that's grande. Eh? Right, now we can start heading in again. This is kind of like a puzzle. We need to grab these keys in order to get rid of the balloons. So head up. And then we're going to interact with this little hatch thing that's going to house the Next, Orbius. Morbius, because everyone loved Morbius, didn't they? What a film. Uh, right, go to the very, very right-hand side here to grab a diary entry. And, uh, sorry, it's a cockroach. It's, you know, close enough. Grasshoppers, cockroach. They're all things you can just squish. Or cook if you're really desperate for some protein. Right, head through the very, very right-hand side door, and then you will end up at the very right-hand side of the screen. Um, and then you can interact with... Um, 
the weevil. Uh, an old grasshopper or cockroach or whatever. So interact with that diary page. That should be two diary pages all done and dusted now. Job done. So let's just head back through the door. And you're going to end up back in the sort of main area. So head just to the left of you. And then what you're going to do is end up in the bottom left-hand corner right here. So go through the right door now. So th these doors can be a bit of a pain in the old cockroach. Head to the right door. Head through the right door. And then you're going to end up where the silver key is. So head through the right door again. That'll get you going uh, down. No, up. Up to where the blue key is, sorry. So there we are, right in the middle of the screen. We can now go ahead and just grab the blue key. I'll do. One's done. <coughs> Excuse me, mademoiselle. Right. So now we're just going to head down. So keep heading to the left in order for us to start heading down. Uh, go to this middle door. Now sometimes it's... Yeah, so, sorry, the very left-hand side door, sorry. So sometimes it's hard to tell, but there are normally three or four doors on each level. That'll pop you all the way down. Now what we're going to do is put the blue key on the blue box, of course, which is the very right-hand side one. And what that will do is uh, get up one of the bridges. Incredibly, it's mad that Violet can't just jump down and then jump up the other side, but what do I know? But there is a key uh, right there. Pink key, which you can grab now, or apparently we're going to grab a little later on. Uh, no, so we're going up. We're going to the sort of third of the four doors so not the very very right one but this one that'll this is where we will get the uh, pink key and now we can just head straight back to the right so the same door that we came through will end us up on the second row interact with the door to the left of you so the second out of four doors on that row and that's going to put you on the right hand side now what you need to do then is just interact with the golden key that was just in the trees very again very easily missed there but the golden key was in the trees just to where we were. Head to the left door now. And then that's going to put you back right down at the bottom at the very beginning. So now, it's not gold, it's a green key, by the way. Color blindness sometimes just doesn't work, does it? So interact with the, obviously, pink key with the pink box. Do the same then with the green key with the green box. So after that is done... Now we can obviously head through and we can start speaking to Weevil. So head through the door, head to the left. Obviously when we get up there, there we go. So now we can start walking to the left and you can go ahead and speak to Weevilman. Ah, oh, Weevilman. Uh, you can try and grab the medal, which is what we need to progress this area. But of course Weevil's going to have an angry beard, an angry face and be like... Dip, 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 dip. So, when he finally stops talking then, what he's going to do is hand us a little cheeky brewski. Uh, well, it's just a mugski without a brewski in it. That's all he wants. And then he'll be nice, apparently. So, if you're feeling very pissed off or annoyed, have a cheeky brew. Not the way some Americans make it on TikTok, mind. That, that, that shit is just... That's, um... Blasphemy. That is absolute blasphemy, some of the way, uh... You know, put in about half a put a milk in it and put it in the microwave and putting cold water and then uh, we're heating it up in the microwave. What is wrong with people? Anyway, that's enough tea ranting. Of course, I'm British, so I do... Uh, <laughs> when it comes to tea making, I get very uh, passionate, as it were. Yum, 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 yum. So anyway, heading to the left. <laughs> and it's okay to remain in this kitchen area. So what we're going to need to do then, go into your inventory... You should have 55 orbs right there, by the way. And then we're going to interact that with the water. Life is a good, huh? Yeah, sure thing, man. Right, and then what we can do is, uh, from here, we are going to go to the left-hand side area now. So, not the ladder, not up the ladder, but we're going to the left-hand side area. Which is, of course, the uh, clock tree again. So, just head down. And then what we're going to do is just keep heading to the right. I believe. Yes, sorry. Yeah, I thought thought we were doing something else then, but I'm a little bit early right there. And there we go. So now we're just going to head back up. Annoy annoyingly, Senor Douchebag will not give us the uh, airplane-looking medal. But we've given him his brew, so we can at least pull the lever just to the left of him. So make sure to do that. Hooray! Two hours in. Almost there. 
home stretch, guys. Guys and girls. So when we've interacted with the lever, what we can do is just keep heading to the right. And we're going to need to go through the third door out of the... F uh, the whoop. No, 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 no. The third door out of the four on this middle row. That will put you down below. Uh, so go through the right door, of course. That'll put you right at the very top. Now you need to go through the very right door here. And, of course, we're trying to grab the silver key. That's what's happening. So now we can go through the right door again when we're at the very right-hand side of the screen. The screen. Da, 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 da. Now we can finally grab the last key. And eventually, in fact, we're almost done now with this level. Thank God. So head back through the left. We do still need to grab his airplane. So head through the very left-hand side door now on this top row. It's the very left-hand side one. That will put you right above old Mr. Weevil's head. You can just grab the key from him or the airplane. <laughs> Job done. Happy days. Later. And it was as easy as that. So just go above his head. Apparently, he doesn't hear anything from above, so job done. Right, so now what we're going to do then, we're going to head down, so head through the middle of the doors right here on the top row. That's going to put us at the bottom, so go through the left door. God, man, this cockroach is angry. Who pissed on your potatoes today? And there we go then. So this is pretty much done now. We can go ahead and give the medal to the angry cockroach. And we can head through to start the garden level. So, on to the garden level. 12 orbs here, so let's crack on with it. So, very right-hand corner. Top right-hand corner in the statue's eye. That is where the first orb is. The second one is just to the left and below, in between the grassy bits third one just to the right of that and the fourth one is going to be right where violet is to the leaves and just to the right of that uh, that is the next orb sixth orb just to the right of that and the next orb is just to the right of that again so all sort of on the bottom of the screen um now we're going to head to the middle part sorry again a little bit of an edit skip right here we're heading to the middle of this part now just to grab the fishing rod now we can just jump over uh and grab the diary page so make sure to pick that one up, of course. It's obviously all needed for Am's achievements. So these are grasshoppers, greedy, greedy little grass duels, grasteds. <laughs> anyway, now what we can do is start heading up. And we are going to get our fishing rod that we grabbed. And we're going to use it on this little big flowery reed thing right here. Uh, that will enable us to get to the other side. It's a very, very, again, it's a very bad, why did the chicken cross the road? joke and it's just crap so we're not gonna bother so we're gonna start heading down start heading down start there's the grasshopper on the boat he wants a couple of things from us which is fair uh so if you interact with just above these uh, statue gnome's head is another orb the next orb is on the very bottom right hand uh very very bottom right hand corner just underneath the hint sign uh we're gonna walk just a little bit to the left and then we're going to uh, interact with the grasshopper here. In fact, no, we're not, because we're going to keep going down. And just uh, at the forefront of the screen here on the leaf is the next orb. And now, if you want to, you can interact with the grasshopper. And he's going to say he wants... He hasn't got no balls. His ex-missus took his balls and put them in a jar on the shelf. So there's the first one, then. It's on the right-hand side. It's in these clams, these statue clams grasp, which you just grabbed. This little weird lizard monster thing will eventually um, grab it and pop us, give it to us on the lily pad. But of course, he's now going to want something in return because, of course, that's how video games always work. Nobody's nice in video games. Everyone's just an asshole who wants things done for them. But he wants what looks like my wi my uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, sorry, my pet worm, of course, not the the pet cocktail sausage down my pants or anything. No, no, just a normal worm. So that's what we're going to grab. So now what we need to do then is head out of this area. We are, of course, going to go back to the tree clock.
And again, Birdie Boy's going to want something in return. Luckily, we've got that something. Uh, we've got a mouldy old strawberry we've uh, shoved in our pocket for the last, you know, hour or so. So that's all he's going to want. So, go into your inventory, whack open the strawberry, give it to the old cuckoo bird, and he is going to worm us up. Ah, phew! I made it, you lazy son of a gun! So, give him what looks like the uh, thing down... Not my pants. And, uh, so give him the worm. He's gonna spit that one up. Open! So that is the first one. Now, the second one is in the garden, which is just gonna be be uh, below us. Uh, just above us, sorry. So, we've got the key, which is exactly what we needed. The key is gonna be used to open up this gnome on the right. That will open up the garden way. Now, it's only a couple of minutes. It's literally just basically like a shooting level. we are just got to shoot a cannon into a gnome's teeth. But, of course, there are a whole bunch of orbs and stuff again. S um, six orbs we need to grab. And we need to come back here for a diary page later on. So, first of all, then, what we're going to do is... Uh, yes, that's a ball. Um, so, what we're going to do first, then, is interact with the left-hand side this sort of statue or whatever that one is right there. There is an orb right here, but you need to have it as a pointed cursor. There it is. So make sure to grab that one first. Second one is just below the hatch, or just below us in the hatch. That should be number two out of six. Uh, head over to the right ever so slightly. The third one is going to be just by this uh, gnome's eyeball. So that'll be the third one, right in the gnome's eyeball. Uh, you've got to wait until this uh, gnome here pops his cannon loader away, and that's the next orb. So that'll be the orb number four, just behind the cannon loader. And then just underneath this leaf, just directly where, on, on the path where Violet's standing, that's going to be the fifth orb. And then finally, the sixth one, eventually, we're going to get there, is going to be on the right-hand side, just underneath the big gnome's beard. That'll be the sixth one done. So what we're going to do for this level then is the big gnome on the right, we've just basically got to shoot his teeth out. So what you need to do, again, hold it, you need to drag the LB button in order to, if you drag the left stick to the left, you can obviously, that, that'll be the strength of it. And as soon as you shoot it the first time, obviously try and aim it at the gnome's teeth and that'll be the first one. Then what we have to do is rearrange the cannonball slightly. So the very middle one, what we're going to do is move this one to the very middle. The um, one just to the left of it, literally just to the left of it, so you're going to move it uh, once. And that should be that for now. So, again, what you need to do then is just grab hold of the cannon, wait until one of the cannonballs is loaded. And then, of course, remember, if you, push, uh, if you grab it and then push left on the left stick, that'll be the strength of it, but you still have to aim. But sometimes it's not all about just aiming as quick as you can. You actually have to aim in one of the few holes. So there are three holes to aim for. And you'll know when you've got it is when one of the teeth are missing. Okay? So if none of the teeth teeth are missing, you'll just have to wait for a cannonball, to, a couple of cannonballs to come down and try again. Again, this one took me about 10 minutes or so just because I kept missing. Uh, so just try and aim it for one of the holes. Not full force. And then you should be okay. So that should be good. Now we're just going to uh, mess around with this last puzzle one more time. So, um, not, it's basically the very sort of second, sort of second one right there. Interact with that twice. See, because there is one, uh, three times, sorry. Interact with it three times. Then the one just to the right of it, we're going to interact with that. I say it's the second one. Uh, interact with that twice. 
and then interact with it a third time and then you should be good to go so again there was one that was hidden behind the trees that's why i said it was the second one right there so just interact with the uh, second top one and the one to the right of it three times that'll get this going and then of course just aim for the final hole and that'll be as golden as nuggets and as you can see the crystal ball is right there but even though she's got these telekinetic powers or whatever she's not actually going to grab it down so spanks a bunch so what we need to do then is find some buttons so the first one's just by the right uh, on the very right hand side there by the hint system Sorry, sorry, there was a bit of standing around. I thought there was two buttons here, but there is only one. So the next one is actually going to be just to the left of the clock. Uh, it kind of looks like a pimple on the big gnome statue's face. There it is, just to the left of the clock. So push that one in and get the next set of stairs going. If we head over to the left here, the third button is going to be on the uh, left-hand side statue, right in his nostrils, right in his nose, and directly below that, right at the forefront of the screen, is the next one. So that should be all four buttons pushed. Now we can just grab, uh, climb all the way up, grab the crystal ball, head to the left, give them both to the grasshopper, and then we can head into the island. So the only reason then that this level is so long is because we're going to do a lot of backtracking after we get our third power. So, first of all, interact with the top left corner on the hatch to find the first orb of the level. And then if we have a look, uh, we're just going to climb up. So we're going to start walking up. Walking up and up and up. But we do only have uh, three levels, including this one, left. Have a look just to the right of the statue or something. That is That, that was where the next orb was. Right on the roof at the top is going to be another orb. So that should be three. Um, interact here with this little lever thing, and that is going to give us the fourth orb. And then what we're going to do, if we have a look, uh, so, sort of go to the right there, and have a look at the top right-hand corner, just above the gear cog, is going to be the fifth orb. And we're going to get collecting 90% of particular orbs. Bottom left corner is the next orb, by the way. In the water is the next orb. So that uh, should be seven. Just to the right of that, just in the sort of way there, is the eighth one. And above that is the ninth orb in this sort of clock thing. If we head to the right slightly as well, uh, he's going to tell us that we can't go. He needs some. He needs a fly to eat, which is fair enough. We've, uh, we have we all need some stuff to eat. Interact here with the diary page anyway. Oh, it's not a diary page. It's a music sheet, sorry. Still a page, still a sheet, so interact with it. The next music sheet's going to be on the grassy knoll right there, the grassy bank. That should be the second music sheet. And then if we start heading up this time, we can start heading up, we can start heading through the door. There we go, and we're going to end up right by this lever. So obviously that's what you're going to do. If you see a lever in real life, you're going to push it. Video games is no different. So make sure to push it and then head back through the door. We've got a pierced nipple lady right there who's it's very scary, but... I'm very scare-housed by pierced nips. Uh, anyway, head down. <laughs> um, not not pierced ones, but, you know, ones that can pierce you and stab you. That hurts. Very scare-housable. So head through the main exit door. It's going to put us on the second level. And then what that's going to do, we need to go through the same door. That's going to put us right now to the very top. 
And there is another orb right in the windmill. So make sure to pick that one up before heading down. That Again, that should get you uh, most of the achievements there, the master ofs. So you should get four achievements, by the way, providing you've been collecting all the orbs. Move the boot, interact with this next orb by Pierce Nip Lady. And then she's going to be like, la 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 la, I need some music sheet, yeah 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 yeah. Or, or something or other. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so we can give her the two music sheets for now. Uh, basically, every time she does this, a uh, bit of the scenery changes. The weather changes and goes nuts, which is exactly what we need. Because as you can see, the frog on the right wants three flies. And now the, fl the flies have appeared. So, let's go, babies. So head through the obviously only door that we can. And then we're going to head up. So to the right. Take a back now, y'all. I say that in literally every video. You must hate me by now. <laughs> so all it is, just like the uh, we were catching the kids earlier. Wait, that doesn't sound right either. All you got to do then is just catch all three flies. And once that is done then, make sure to give, of course, all your flies then to the right-hand side frog. Now, the only reason we're coming down here for the moment... In fact, again, this is something that I could have probably made a little bit smoother. Um, but basically, we have to get rid of the swans here on the left, but there is a diary page. Uh, pretty much directly in front of us, at the top of where we are right now. So, um, I mean, we end up going in, into this automatically, actually, so it's all good. So... You can't actually obviously go to the left. Swans are going to be pissed off, man. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and grab this final music sheet. It's not a diary page, of course. It is a music, a music sheet. That's what I'm on about. And then you can just simply head back up. So after you give both of your music sheets to the Pierce Nip Nips uh, scare rousing lady, uh, that's obviously going to open up the way. The swans are going to disappear. So from here, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head back up, go back down, go to the right, and head back inside the boats. We can't actually grab the diary page from there, uh, but that's what we need to do. So head all the way to the right, back to the frog, back into the boat. And no luck catching them swans then. Uh, no, we can go to where the swans were. When you head to the left, you're automatically going to come up to this little area. Which, for one, you can interact with the lever. But most importantly, head to the left. You can do a jump over. Apparently, <laughs> we're doing a Matrix-style jump over now. It's the Matrix. Anyway, that is <laughs> with the next diary pages of this level. Frogs, if you didn't know what they were in this level. 
So we're going to do another Keanu Reeves Matrix special back to the right hand side. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Okay, there we go. And then interact with the lever. And that is job done. That's pretty much now job done for this level. We've grabbed everything. It's a short, again, it's a short enough level. But we're just about to do a hell of a lot of backtracking. Um, in order to get the rest of the pages and orbs and stuff. But we're not quite done yet. What we're going to do is head up the top here. So go through the very top hand side door. Top hand side. You know what I mean? Nip through the top hand side. And we're going to end up back by the lever. Now this is the lever that we're going to push back up. So make sure to interact Aroni with that Aroni. That pepperoni. There we go. Head inside. There we go. Back out. Head inside. Back outside here. And then we're just going to head back down the left. Every time she got a bit finicky and a bit confused, like, eh, I don't like walking down this part. Ah. Head through the door. And of course, we're going to end up right at back at the very top. And when we go back through the door again, that is going to enable us to grab the next diary page here from the very top. And um, by diary page, I meant music sheet, of course. So now we can go back through the same door that we just came. And we can give old uh, Pierce Nip Frog leg. We have to obviously go down. But we need to now give a uh, diary, the music sheet to the frog legged Pierce Scarosable lady. Frog thing. Honestly, the way this rock's just opening up, it kind of, that's just like the first dump of the morning, that, isn't it? The heavens are open, <laughs> the butt's clenched, and there is the ultimate coffee dump of life. That 6am coffee dump of life just before you start work. Oh yes, there's nothing more satisfying really, is it? Apart from, you know, having lots of money and stuff, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll save that for another day. So, uh, obviously just head to the right, go ahead, simply interact with the golden coffee dump. And that is going to be our third uh, power, which basically makes us impervious to flames now. Which is obvious, that's exactly just what always happens right there. Job done. So, now this is the part then where we are going to do just quite a bit of backtracking now. So, uh, obviously what we're going to do, we're just going to we're finished with the island area. We're just going to go ahead and ring the bell. And uh, get back and start doing the stuff. So first things first, we're heading through to the garden. Remember there was one little diary page that we couldn't grab earlier, but now apparently flames do not hurt us anymore. So that well, would come in handy in real life, wouldn't it? But uh, yeah, maybe not. I mean, everyone should have at least one superpower, right? So the the flames, what we're looking for then is, you don't have, have to do anything special. You just gotta hit, uh, go onto the stairs. Basically, she's just gonna jump straight past them. Keep hitting where the diary page is, basically right in the middle of the screen where my cursor is. 
And that's going to be uh, that one done. So gnomes, just in case you didn't know what a gnome was, that's it. Not all of them are goddamn spooky, mind. So next off, we're going to be heading to the chimney area. So that means we have to go back to the kitchen, through the tree clock area, onto the aeroplane area, and um, yeah, use the aeroplane then to get over to the chimneys. Again, obviously just keep following the screen and you'll get there near problem, man. Okay, boys and girls, woo let's get some more orbs. Right, obviously heading sort of through the left so you can go top right, as it were. Now, remember, there are five orbs that we need to collect. So, again, just be very careful. They are right in the flame's way. So, as you can see, there are, I think there are five or six orbs. So, one, two. And, obviously, this achievement you should have got earlier on as well. Three. And four. I think it might have been four. Either four or five orbs. Just make sure that you've collected every single one right there. Again, the Master Air achievement you would have got earlier on. That's because you would have been following the guide, what I told you to collect. And that is the final di uh, diary page, which is just where the orbs were. Just underneath the inventory bag. And they're talking about Swanages. So that will be the bestiary achievement, or the bestiary achievement, whatever. Um... But that'll be achievement number 17 out of 21 now. So flying through, boys. Flying through. Okay. So like I said, if it does come to it later and um, you don't end up getting the supercharged achievement for getting all the collectible orbs, just go back to that area, the chimney area, and it may be one there. But I'm pretty sure there was at least, at least four or five there. Apologies that I can't totally remember, but it is definitely... Uh, in fact, it was four. It was four, yeah. So I'm just having a look at a little look at my notes here. It was four. But again, you would have noticed, because if you just keep uh, clicking on screen randomly and madly, well, then you would know that you've collected everything. So, but there was four. Right, so... Um, well, this is it now. Now, this is it. We've got... We don't need to collect any more Pit Diary pages. The last set of collectibles are going to be in this area, which old caterpillar fungal face is going to open up for us. Come on, dude, I've done all your crap. We want to end this stuff now, please. So, this is like a five-minute level uh, where we collect orbs, uh, just interacting with the pipes. Can be a bit dark in here, but obviously I'll be telling you exactly where to go and what to do. And then after this one is going to be the boss fight, and it'll be the end of the game. So, come on, let's do it. So, first orb directly above where Victoria is standing, or Violet, sorry. And then just to the left of it, you're going to open up this little hatch or this little piece of broken pipe for the second orb. There are 14 in this area, so, uh, you know, just be mindful. Uh, just simply walk across the ladder. There we go. And now what you need to do is actually grab the ladder and, and push it against the next gap. So that is how we're going to be uh, getting through places, is just by using the magic powers instead of just jumping because we've got telekinesis and stuff and the jumping ability 
we're just going to be dragging a ladder along with us instead. Job done. So when we get to this part, we're going to drag the ladder again. Drag it once again to the right hand side. And there's 14 orbs in a short level, but there's going to be like 5 or 6 just bunched up as one right here. So fly through. Great music by the way, I really enjoy the music. Grab the uh, ladder again, and you need to pop it uh, over again. Apparently Violet's not good in the tiniest, shallowest bit of water in the world. Which is just a shame. And there we go, so five. There are five bunched up here. Obviously, as you can see, them directly in front of you on the pipe. So, scooby dooba dooba scooby dooba doo Alright, ah, that's it. That's all we're doing for this area. So, now we need to go back to the left, and then we need to drag the pipe, uh, the ladder, over to the left again. I know she goes over them very slowly. Literally, you could have just jumped, but, you know, again, what, what do I know? I'm just a guide maker. I don't actually make any games. Which I would be interested in starting, but, oh, Christ, imagine the chaos of me making a game. <laughs> no. Right, so now with the pipe, with the ladder, we're going to start dragging down. Now, like I said, if there are anything that you missed in terms of achievements and stuff like that, um, when, when you press continue uh, after you beat the game, you will start back in this area and you can just use the ladder to climb all the way back up to the top and back to the left of the kitchen area. Then you can find what you're looking for. Uh, so you don't actually have to start a new game or anything, even though there is no chapter select. So we head down to the right here to grab another orb just underneath us. And that's all good. Now what we can do is use the ladder to go directly down again. So that's what we're going to do. Lovingly, and there's going to be another orb hiding in the grass on this piece of pipe right here. Or moldy grass, whatever that is. Grab the uh, ladder, put it over to the left hand side now. Ah, oh, man, it's sort of slowing the game down mega, isn't it, really, this? Another orb, literally just above our head in the sort of greeny green stuff. And over to the left is the next orb uh, in what looks like a flower or something. So the greeny acidy stuff above us. And if we climb up, there's going to be uh, nothing there, apparently. <laughs> I did actually mean to uh, climb up there. Uh, so we need to climb down. And that is fine. Now, the final boss, by the way, is, very, uh, is, is easy enough. You've literally just got to... Hold the A button and aim it at the boss. And that's pretty much it. After And you've just got to hit her about four or five times. So it's not too bad. Um, but here is the next piece of orb then. Directly in front of us. Uh, you would have gotten opened up this piece. So get rid of the hatch. And that will uh, give us the next orb. Put the ladder down. And now of course this time. Violet. Of, is it, yeah. Violet is not going to go through lava. Lava hurts a little bit more than a bit of shallow water. Well, apparently, according to scientists anyway, you know, I'm not, I'm not much of a scientist, but um, lava, hot? Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> so, so, so again, life lessons. Just in case you didn't know lava was hot, Professor Welsh Hunter here is uh, on hand to help you. Right, so <laughs> what you're going to do is push this button directly in front of us. That's going to push out another orb. And as you can see, all our orb meters are pretty much all full. Uh, now what we need to do is swing ourselves over, so you need to grab the piece of rope that we've grabbed from earlier on. Interact that with the thing, with the sort of screw sticking out. Now, just like at the beginning of the game with the cage, you have to use it as a bit of momentum. So you have to uh, hit left to the rope, and then right to the rope, left to the rope, right to the rope. Basically keep going, and then eventually Violet will automatically climb on and swing to the other side. And there she is, and we've only got one more orb to collect just before the boss battle, and it is right in front of us in the green gunk. So now, hopefully, if you've been following along, you will now get the supercharged achievement. Of course, you won't see me unlock it because I missed one earlier on, but that should now be your last orb. You should now get the supercharged achievement, and then we can move on to the boss fight. So, like I said, what you can do with the boss fight is you can press up and down to go up and down on these sort of... Um, ledges that you're on but for the most part you're yeah, holding the a button and you've got to aim it you do have to aim it 
Um, so wait until the shield is off. Sometimes you can get lucky with it, sometimes you can't. But that's all you're doing then. So you're just pressing and holding the A button, shooting the lady, or shooting the spider thing, because you need to beat this boss without using any earthly powers. Um, and I don't actually know how you do that, because I didn't bother. So again, pressing up and down uh, makes you go on each ledge. But that is that is literally it. So four or five hits is all it takes. As long as you didn't use any uh, earth power, you will get the groundless lava achievement, and you will also get, providing you didn't accidentally use any hints, you will get the Dr. Watson and Sherlock Holmes achievement as well. And then that will be the end of the game. Oh, so thank goodness. So remember, again, you just press and hold the A button to shoot and then aim it at the spiderling thing. And that's it, job done. You're reunited with your parents. Everyone's happy, job done. So you should got you should have gotten there the last three achievements for basically not using a hint and only using 10 hints throughout the game. Job done. Again, apologies about the edit here, but now I will be showing you you should now be on 21 out of 21 achievements, and that is Violet Remastered done. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well, and that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget, as usual, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A big, huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, and anyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. You're all legends. And that's that one. So, not bad for 83 pence, or, or if you're watching this in the future and you paid full price for it. Not bad for full price, eh? <laughs> right, so thank you so much for watching again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love!